Also, wait, I forgot I have the screen share. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, that'd be nice if you would do that for me. I'm sorry. I te I'm telling you, there's always something I'm forgetting. Okay. Oh, wow. Hey, what's going on, guys? And welcome back today. We're back with another not Splatoon. This is Ace Attorney. God damn it. <laughs> it's the best game ever. I hope you guys are all doing great. Hands, hands together, praying emoji. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys have all had a fantastic week so far. I'm happy I'm here to end it off with some Ace Attorney on a Friday. Yippee woo. -hoo. Uh last time Wait before Fest. True. I'm not playing Fest today. I will be playing Fest tomorrow and Sunday though. I'm sorry. Um Do you have anyone? I do. I did I I I, I found <laughs> No no, it's only on Saturday. Sunday's free. So if you want to invade on Sunday you can. Saturday's my, like, I'm sexy day. What does that mean? <laughs> you can hear the sound and everything looks good, right? Yes. Sick. Anyway. What is it called? Um, you, you good? I'll just let you vibe. Anyway, uh, last time we were in trial against our, our good coffee sipping lad Godo. Mika's had a change of heart, by the way. Um, I said Godo, you're supposed to react. Oh my god, Godo. <laughs> there you go. Um, <laughs> uh, what, did we even, what did we even discover last trial? Oh yeah. Last trial we discovered that it's not, the chef probably isn't the murderer. We talked well, to the guy. That wasn't the trial. We weren't. That wasn't. We were. Wait, we did the trial? Yes, we did the trial. We did the trial? Yes, we did the trial. Oh. Yeah, so. Kudo, I have no fucking. <laughs> that's why I like to recap the last stream so people get a little refresher, even wait, though I don't on, remember let me go it that find well. It. I mean, I'll you can it. if you okay. want, but I remember now. Uh, so, we. Uh, what is it called? Interrogated, cross examined our boy, Mr. Kudo. Banger theme, by the way. He's dumb as bricks. Oh, yeah. His memory sucks. Um, and we have now uh, sufficiently proved that he is an unreliable witness, which opens the case up to more testimony the next day. So now we're here oh, investigating we're, I again. We were in a trial. No, it was only a one part trial. This one, the next one will probably be a two part trial. But, um, what is it called? We are now going to do some more investigation, hopefully, get some more evidence. And there may have to be a new witness. We still haven't seen the little Miss Skinny Goth lady 
ever since she appeared that exactly that exact one time. So we'll she looks probably like see. She comes her out of Tokyo point. Ghoul or something. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Oh my anyway. god, duck bestie. Hello, besties. Hello, all the besties in the chat. I gotta actually pin the message. I'm so smart. No, I'll do it. I'll do it. I can pin it. I can pin it. You can't pin it. Mods can't pin messages. Ooh. Sorry. I don't know Wait, why mods I can? can't. I don't think you can, though. Ooh. Unless you want to prove me wrong and pin something really funny. Everyone! Wait, is this is the spring sale on Steam still going? Is because it? Because if it is... Go by Ace Attorney. Go, go, go. I think go, I might go. have ended today, honestly. Guys, bad news. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me double check. Let me double yeah, check. Yeah, double it's check. Double check. But I know it, I, I thought it was today that it ended because today, today is spring. Guys, it's spring. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, it's spring. Hey, guys. <laughs> uh, hey, guys. Is it? I think it's over, yeah. Hold on. But for anyone who cashed out on the, on the Steam Spring Sale, thumbs up to you. Mika Duffy cashed out. Oh my god, I gotta tell you, I got, okay. From a commission, I got Apollo Justice, and then I bought the Trilogy again on she Steam. She has two copies and then of the Trilogy. I have, yeah, I had two copies, and then I have fucking Chronicles, uh, Ace of Tainted Chronicles. So now I can play all the Ace of Tainted games, and then I bought Zero Escape. Yeah, and then Dippy awesome. bought me Zero Escape, because he's pooky like that. And then Nike bought me Unpacked, and he bought me One Shot. We, we're we on our way to make bank. Wait, what did I buy Linky? I know I bought him something. Bought him something. And that's why I'm, I, I'm more broke than Linky. Actually, no, Linky doesn't even have $2 in his account after checking. Never mind. 50 cents to his name type B. <laughs> Let me go check what I bought him. What did you get him? And then you got oh, me nothing. I, cause you're my god, you're American. I don't know why I let me buy Linky. So oh, wait, broke. no, I couldn't. I, yeah, I lost my money. Um, not lost, quote unquote. Okay, no, I bought multiple things. Don't tell Luke, but I. Oh uh, no, I told Luke I bought him something, but I bought Luke something for his birthday. Do I know what it is? Uh, you can. Sh yeah, sure. He'll never come. He'll never come to the stream. Well, okay, no. purchase history. Um, uh, that was a lot of money. I shouldn't do that anymore. Okay. Um. Did you just like start spending money without like looking at your account first? It's because of the taxes. I didn't see how much the taxes Girl, are. I don't know how to tell you this. Look at the screen. <laughs> Anyways. Uh. Oh, I bought Linke one shot. <laughs> and oh. then he bought me one shot back. Okay. I bought Luke, Okay, not I neutral. Think. I think I bought Luke. Uh... You got Jesus this Christ, I've bought Luke so many things. Stardew, Sonic, Media, Plastic, Duck Simulator, Undertale, Lethal Company. Okay. Anyways, I think I bought him... I think I bought him... What's the name? It's like when you're a little bug and you go around and you kill stuff. Hollow Knight. I think that's uh, what I bought Luke. That's cool. I think Maybe. I think I bought Luke Are you ready to start? All right, this is episode three, recipe for turnabout, part three, investigation. My glasses are dirty. Let's go. Don't worry, I'll read for you. January seventh, twelve fifty-two p.m. Right in coal offices. All right, I'm ready. I'm good. So, how do you think the trial went this morning? How do you think it went? <laughs> you got a bit of crazy in there. I just. I just wondered if that killed our chances. Yeah, I guess it did get out of hand. Mr. Kudo's testimony did nothing to help us. Mr. Kudo. <laughs> Plus, now we don't even know the identity identity of the waitress who laced the coffee. All I know is that that old man Kudo saw the apron straps and the ribbon. And that the victim was wearing an earpiece when his eardrum was ruptured. Hmm, talk about a terrifying case of contradic- Contradic- Contra- Maya! Don't do this to me! Contradiction- Do you want to help you? Yeah, there you go. Contradiction, I just- <laughs> It's a lot easier once you realize what the joke's supposed to be. I'll also see you, Hunter. Thanks for popping in. Time to play doctor and find ourselves a cure then, huh? <laughs> yeah, we've got to find one for Maggie or she's gonna have a terminal case of guilty. <laughs> 
Charlie. A quite decorative plant. He's sort of a keepsake. Something to remember me by. Sure, the office is a mess, but I never forget to water this little fella. There's a giant building just outside the window. It's the Gatewater Hotel. A high-class luxury hotel. But Jane is getting so rich that they bought a whole chunk of the next town over. They started building a huge theme park. It's gonna be called Gatewater Land. I wonder if that bellboy is gonna be is gonna send me a greeting card this year too. No. An old movie poster. What's up? <laughs> no, he's not gonna send you a card. He's gonna like forget about you. Nah, he's gonna send me some money. Cause I'm broke. <laughs> Ooh, I, I'd like some. <laughs> True. Apparently, this is the first movie that made me cry when she saw it a long time ago. Maya watched it recently, and she said, and said she cried all night too. Which, I guess, is why it's back up on the wall. I'll have to check it out one of these days. It's my desk. I don't get to use it much, so it's still super neat and tidy from when Pearls cleaned it. I miss Pearls. Me too. Difficult looking legal books stand in a formidable row. They mock me. Actually, I've neglected them for so long that they're covered in a layer of dust. I guess I should at least pretend to read them once in a while. Alright. Womp. Well, I'm officially at a loss as to where to start. Yeah, me too. Let's try some brainstorming. You go first. I guess I should try to put Mr. Kudo's testament to some sort of use. Yeah, that's true. And we need to figure out the identity of the waitress and who the victim really was. Somehow, I think the key to this case has got to be at 3 p.m. Well then, let's go back there and check it out again. Oh, and we should drop in on Maggie and see how she's doing too. I've been practicing my reading with like zero escape, so I don't fuck up today. Yeah. So I've been reading out loud, so I can get uh, like used to my eyes keeping up with my mouth. Makes sense. So, anything on your mind? Actually, there is something. I was wondering about Zinyok. You know what he's like and stuff. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about that guy. Oh yeah. I gotta beat you so hard! Wait, no, 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 that's not, that's not his, no, 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 that's the I gotta sure beat you so hard, I it'll be feel like you're smoking the express train. I'm doing <laughs> his voice, I'm sorry. I know, I know, but like that. I didn't, Give I gave him like a, hey, what you doing over there? That's what I did, <laughs> I gave him the knee. But that's <laughs> too pitchy, look at him. Hey, what you doing grumble. over there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had the grumble. I had to beat you so hard, it'll leave you. It'll feel like you smooching the express train. <laughs> Phoenix Wright, you saying you Phoenix Wright? Cause I'm a Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm a Phoenix Wright. I'm a the Phoenix Wright. The one and only. I'm the only right. You, you just a lefty. Cause I'm Shut Phoenix up. Wright. The one and only. <laughs> Actually. I learned a little something about my doppelganger. I was a little soccer about issue. Don't worry about it. Huh? You did? What'd you find out? Oh yeah. When I was working at the restaurant when I ran into Don Fonness What? Into Don Fonelne. <laughs> what? Let's just say he was such a terrible version of me that I wanted to sue for defamation. What's that guy's story anyway? Anyway, what does he have to gain by impersonating me? God, Maya. it's so creepy because if you black him out, yeah, he's Phoenix. And when you don't, this is horrifying. This is so disgusting. He looks, he looks like if you mix fucking Matt on guard with Phoenix. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> Why is his skin so red? Wait, what is this Trump 2.0? <laughs> Hold on. Oh yeah, that badge is totally useless, Nick. Huh? I mean, no one suspected that Kim Yup wasn't a real lawyer. I bet he didn't even have an attorney's badge. I guess you're right. Maybe he did have one. And maybe he switched your real one for... I... Fugazi. Yeah, what he said. My badge? A fake? <laughs> That's a good one, Maya. Why the nervous laughter? Aha! I knew it! Your badge really is a fake, isn't it, Nick? <laughs> you just leave it at that. 
That thing must have been in an accident. It's a total wreck. That's what the guy that's what the guy I met at the park was riding. And I'm betting it's the fake me. Cause I'm a Phoenix rat. The one and only. His voice is still ringing in my ears. <laughs> Introduce me next time, Nick. I'm in Xenia too. Alright, we can move now. What are you feeling? Yippee! I'm feeling like I want to say hi to my girl. Maggie. January 7th, detention center. Visitor's room. I guess Maggie's still in questioning. But, but we've got questions to ask her too! Maggie! Maggie! Keep it down, Maya. This isn't a playground, you know. Let's go to the playground. Let's go to the vitamin park. This guard monitor is the visitor's room. There's nothing for him to do right now, so he's catching some vertical Z's. <laughs> Smile, you're on a candid camera. Alright. It's out over here, then. January 7th, Police Station, Criminal Affairs Department. It looks like Gumshoe's not here. Never mind that. What's going on? It feels different in here somehow. You think? Yeah, everyone seems to be on edge. What are you doing? Calling the officers for the briefing, quick! Can't you shut down the station server? Chief, quit playing on the internet! <laughs> you wanna read the chief? But my email pen pal 1337 is in the princess! <laughs> Bro, he dating on email. What the hell? <laughs> it's happening. Save it for later. I'm turning it off now. No. E337 has a new princess. <laughs> Everyone's keeping busy in here, huh? Keeping busy? More like panicking, if you ask me. Something's going on. Something big. This must be the chief of the detectives here. He looks lost. Now that the, the power to his computer has been cut. Oh well, I guess I'll just have to write her a real letter instead of an email. Alternatively, you could write up some reports. Just a suggestion. Dear 1337 as a new princess, how are you? I'm okay. I was the show last night. I got zero riz. Wow, what an awesome job. Maybe I should send him in my resume and become a chief. <laughs> hey, that's the police mascot, isn't it? So cute. That's the blue badger. I guess I have his voice now. Yeah. That's my idea. I made it and now it's my national symbol of the police. So what's with the pink one? It's new, right? She's not an it, Nick. She's a she. Right, Chief? Yup, meet the big badger. So one's called blue and the other one's called pink. But they're both called badger? You got it, dear me. Um, Mr. and Mr. Badger seem to be cuffed together, Chief. You got it! That's merch for you. Whoa, a mascot that's deeper than the deepest of deep oceans. Shut up. Post for a female police officer. No, wait. <laughs> That's just the latest babes in uniform calendar. My bad. You are bad indeed. The detective's desks. There are computers and files on each one. Funny, they're a lot tidier than I expected. I guess detectives don't spend a lot of time at their desks. I must be one of the detectives. He's telling something to himself. Even pickpockets and have their pockets picked. That's a keeper. Better go with something like... something that doesn't sound too much like a slogan. He must be coming up with slogans for a crime prevention campaign. But I'm not sure what he... And I, and I'm not sure even he knows what kind of crime he's trying to prevent. Alright, that's, that's the it. The crime of making a shitty so. campaign. True. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, we have to go to the detention center. That's right. And then we route here. 
January 7th, 3 p.m. Oh, no. I forgot. Empty, as usual. Yeah, and it's lunchtime, too. Uh? I'm gonna guess gumshoe. That's it! I'm... Is it? I don't think so. Then who do you think it is? You I think it's like... I don't know. Just just read it. Just read right. it. Uh, I'll just do a normal. I'll just do a neutral. That's it. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, that sounds like... I was right! Oh my ah! god, was, you were right. <laughs> <laughs> my, no, Why my... is he here? This might be like a, like a second wave of investigation now. That's it. Come on, come on, come on. Now just call an eight, pal. Come on. I know you can. He's getting really worked up about something. No! That's the wrong number! Ugh! Looks like an eight would only... Would have only netted me five bucks anyway! What a ripoff! Is he doing... Is he doing scratch-offs? What's the problem, Detective Gumshoe? Huh? Oh, it's you! I, uh... I was, uh... <laughs> I was just... <laughs> oh, I need water. That's I was just listening to the radio, pal! To the radio. Hey, Detective Gumshoe's having lunch here. He is, and he's having the twin tea set. <laughs> what can I say? Did he? Wait, wait, wait. Do you think he came here occasionally because of Maggie? That'd be so cute. Oh, he probably like, did. Hi, Maggie. That's why he ordered. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Bum, 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 bum. You know what I did the other day? I sat down at, during breakfast with my mom and I was like, let me tell you everything about the motives in fucking the Maya Fey theme and the Pearl Fey theme and the Emma Sky theme and the motifs, Mia Fey. Right? Motifs, yes, thank you. And I, I started showing her and then she's like, I'm sorry, I'm tone deaf. <laughs> I was like, okay, well. And then I had to hum it out, and then we went through almost every, like, everything from the first game's track. And, like, she's like, oh my god, this is from this, this, and this! And I'm like, I'm surprised you remember. <laughs> Anyways. So, she isn't tone deaf, but she does have tone memory. She has- she can memorize when things happen, but when she, you're comparing two songs to each other, she's like, I don't get it. <laughs> They're similar? And then I gotta, like, sing the other song on top of the new one. Whatever. It's ironic that she's tone deaf, because you're definitely not. But my dad isn't. He's a musician. It's a rack full of fashion magazines, and they're all in French. That would explain why we have a lot of instruments. Why don't you try wearing something a bit more chic sometime, huh, Maya? Yeah, I like to look stunning in one of those par Parisian frocks, huh? <laughs> I almost said Parmesan. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's a big word. No, I don't blame you. <laughs> Parmesan is a win. <laughs> it's the restaurant's front entrance. There's a sign hanging on the door written in French. It probably says open or closed. I see one or the other, but I don't know which was- I don't know which since I don't know jocks about French. I, I didn't murder that, right? No. Well, you murdered that like you killed it. Good job. Not. God damn it. I would. I want to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. It could say entrance or exit too. Did you think about that? No, Maya, you're wrong. So I'm trying to be a free thinker. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stop basing things up from narrow minded cultural assumptions, Nick. <laughs> I hate this game. <laughs> Look at all the little trinkets tucked away in here. I bet Mr. Armstrong collected all of these personally. Let's see, a bouquet of flowers, some potpourri, and look, fine bon, bon, fine, fine little, 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 little. Bon. bonnet, <laughs> it's not bonnet. Bon. Fine bon china cups, I think. Bonnet, oh, bonnet, fine bonnet china cups? Fine bon china cups, yeah, I don't know where the fina came from. Fine a bona. No, no, because I'm thinking. No, because I'm thinking. Stop, because I'm thinking of bona fide. <laughs> Question mark. Oh, you, right. Maybe you are dyslexic, Doofy. 
join no, the No, because I've heard of bona fide, so I'm trying to apply this to this, which is those bonafide words. Bonafide but... China cook. Yeah, but it's fine, bona. Ne never mind. I'm not doing this shit. I never knew you were so cultured. I'm not. Come on, Maya. This is common knowledge. Any Joe Schmo knows this much. Joe <laughs> Schmo. Look, it's one of those magical boxes that spit out money. You know, you're the only person who would ever describe a cash register in that way. I would too. I said that last yeah, time. You said that last it's time. <laughs> She's right. It's a magical box that spits out money. What? It's dependent. The table's set nicely. It just needs a customer. Hey, Nick. Do you think old CD was talking about a face like this today in court? It does look like it's ready to fall over any second. Looks kind of fragile, too. I bet if Mr. Armstrong charged $10,000 for every vase the customer broke, he'd be able to pay off his loan pretty quickly. Or really. If you had people with that kind of bill, Maya, they'll hit you back. In quick. No, oh, they'll just hit you flat out. Wow. Wow, it's oh. a beautiful winter wonderland out there. Really? Cool! I love snow! Let me see. Huh? It's not late. It's not even snowing. Got ya! I was just kidding, Maya! Nick! There are lies that are okay to tell and lies that definitely aren't. All I did was tell an itty bitty white lie about an non existent white snow. This restaurant has a partition has partitions that separate the tables. When you're seated at a table, you can only see the tables to your right or left. Wow, you really can't see the table in front or behind you at all. Perfect setup for slipping poison in your enemy's coffee. This must be the table where the murder occurred. If I was there, I'd be licking the like, tablecloth. I guess so. There's so all you the police die? tape all around it. No, it's just out of habit. So you'd still die. <laughs> yeah, it's that's not on purpose. <laughs> that stay must be from the poison coffee. Don't go look in the table, God. <laughs> okay, Maya. Why would I lick it? I'm not a cat, you know. But Mikachu <laughs> is. And why can I picture you doing just that? I love how she has a devious smile when she says that too. <laughs> the lights are so she pretty. Has like, she has a little. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else. Wait, maybe I that. should just. <laughs> Oh yeah, you can change, yeah. She's not wearing a made outfit today. Even if they made like a whole set of made outfit sprites just for the one bit. <laughs> it's so based. Hey, if she ever disappears and it's Pearl who takes her spot, you know what I'm doing. What do you mean? You guess which will Pearl outfit? Yeah. Okay, sure. Go for it. There's a nightmare! Wait, that means you're gonna give your character a ponytail. I'm gonna give my character instead of the little ponytail in the back. I'm gonna give it the two little loops on top. Oh. How am I supposed to look Maggie in the eye now, pal? You really drove her into a corner, you know. You always blow apart my testimony. Why of all days did you do it today? Sorry, there just weren't any holes in it for once. Yeah, what happened? Usually your testimonies are like Swiss cheese. <laughs> It's a Swiss cheese! <laughs> Would he have preferred crumbly, crumbly like an H Parmesan! Parmesan. <laughs> anyway, this case has already been ruled on. There shouldn't be any holes left to find. So, did Maggie say anything to you? About me, I mean? Well, <coughs> um, how did she put it again? I can't believe Detective Gumshoe. I hate I him, I sir. I mean, I... I mean it. I don't ever want to see him again. Wait, I'm doing bird. I know. It's because since she's the one narrating it, I guess. Oh, I usually, when there's a flashback, I usually like doing it. Okay, no, go ahead. Sorry. Something like that. Wah! Wah! No, he's crying. Mario! Sorry. He's crying. But please, oh. Detective Gumshoe, I, I didn't mean... Why? Why is this happening? Oh, he's banging his head against the wall, Nick. Oh man, poor Gumshoe. <laughs> Sorry, he's dead. Did you do that? 
Uh, I wish they made him a sad sprite. He does have a sad sprite. Well, he has more like a... I don't know how to describe it. It's a patty pit. Yeah. So, did you like the twin tea set? I've never paid that much money for lunch before. I was so nervous, my hands were shaking. So, how'd it taste? Well, for 20 bucks, I guess... I don't know how to describe it, really. It was... Delicate. Delicate. You mean you liked it? It didn't taste bad to you? What's the matter with him? <laughs> Looks like he's thinking. You can tell by his little eyebrow dance. <laughs> I love his little eyebrows. That's it! I've been trying to think of the right word to describe the taste. And I just realized, it's bad. <laughs> That's it. It tasted bad. <laughs> <sighs> it's just kind of hard to admit it to yourself when you pay 20 bucks for it, you know? That's kind of true, honestly. Yeah, when you get something that tastes bad and you pay a lot of money, you usually try to, like, play cope. around the words. You try yeah. to cope. <laughs> you cope hard. Maybe you should have found out know. after the, about the pricing after he had finished eating. Hey, Nick. Maybe that's why Glenn... Oh, okay. Can't hear. You heard about the super fierce twin set. Twin team set. If by fierce you mean fearsome, speaking of. Fun elk. That reminds me. We still hardly know anything about the guy. When are we as detective? Maya, come back! Sorry! Maya. I'm backing away slowly! Oh, guys, we lost Maya. GG, I guess. Why don't we ask Detective Gumshoe what he knows, seeing as he's here? I say 50 feet across the room. <laughs> so what were you all excited about earlier? Huh? That's right, you said you were listening to the radio or something. Oh, that, that was nothing. I, I wasn't excited. I don't get excited. Maggie, Maggie, Maggie. <laughs> Come on, Detective Gumshoe. You can tell little old me. What were you listening to? Hmm? N nothing, really. It was just the, um, daily exercise show. What? Like, I know it's one Plus lock, but that's messed up, man. Come on. You cannot do me like this. Well, it's what the? A psyche lock? <laughs> mm, this lunch special lobster sure is great. <laughs> then why are there tears in your eyes? He was gambling. Oh, he's like me for real! Huh? He like me for real. I that's what I'm guessing. I'm guessing he was like doing the, the he was doing scratch offs. Anyway, uh... This. this guy was a real programming genius. They called him the walking computer at the place where he worked. What happens when he crashes, though? Does he stop moving at all of a sudden? Does he have a jibber jibber jibber? Uh, he wasn't literally a computer, Maya. Anyway, there's nothing between Maggie and the victim. Yeah, that's what we found out yesterday, too. Hey, Detective Gumshoe, why don't you, have it, don't you have any information that's a bit more fun? For fun? I, uh... Oh, I know! So, have you paid a visit to where Mr. L worked yet? You might as well. His workplace? <coughs> Where's that? It was like a weird name. A computer Wait. firm called Blue Screens Incorporated. Or something like that. Uh. Sounds like a real stable company. This could be fun, Nick. Let's go! Computers aren't really my thing, Maya. We'll be fine. I know all about that high tech. I wonder about that. It's just around the corner from this joint. You should take a look. A computer firm called Blue Screens Inc., huh? All right. I guess we head over now. Yeah, back up shoe. I mean, unless you want to go in one of these rooms. Sure, let's go to the kitchen. We haven't been there in a bit. January 7th, 
Trebian kitchen. Huh? Mr. Armstrong is talking to someone. Oh. Uh, okay. I'll be back next month. I guess. Oh, wait, no, I'm gonna have to voice these two. Oh, he not to him. I'll be waiting for you. I love him. If you haven't got... I don't know, maybe I should make a friend. No. If you haven't gotten it by then, I'm afraid it might get a little... hot around here. No, I will have everything ready, I promise. Oh, she's probably like the... not the landlord, but like the... The, the 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 other place that real I real estate the place. It was like some. It started with an L. Thought I don't know. Landlord. Tangent is something. Tangent tangent or something like that. Either way, it's the person who like owns the like the land. I'm guessing. Probably. It's about or his not. Debt. That's what I'm guessing. <coughs> I love fire, you know. I love the way it crackles. <laughs> No, 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 stop it. I beg you. I love me a, a little arsonist. And don't let me down. I'll be watching you. Man, no, this is not necessary. You can trust me, mademoiselle. Hi, Scully. Talk to anyone, and I'll drive a knife right through your heart. Oh, no. You do not have to hurt me. You know, you worry far too much. Maybe this will help you relax a little oil of a sandalwood. I do love raw meat from time to time. <laughs> ah! I'll be taking my leave. Goodbye for now. I have lash shivers, like Splatoon. I must rub some of my oil all over my body before I see nervous becomes the nervous wreck. He's oiling up? I am an oily motherfucker. Zero. Oh, me. That feels good. Please. I'm getting whiplash. Ugh. Oh la la, excuse me, mama, sir. I had to watch a man pour oil on himself. Bottom text. That's not too bad, Nick. <laughs> my eyes, my eyes! Your eyes. If you have trouble with your eyes, you need this la oil of sandalwood. Is this just what? Is this just the leftovers of what you were just using? You can't just play this theme. I was a legit addition. Oh, we can't invest. Oh, wait, what? What's this? It looks like a treasure chest or something. Wow, look at all these little bottles. Oh, they're aromatherapy oils. He's got so many. They're overflowing onto the floor. Let's see. One, two, three, eight, ninety-nine, hundred. They're all the same, too. Oh, no, we can or something. Now this is one large mirror. I bet this is where he makes himself look pretty. There's a book on the dresser. Clarice Armstrong's Bedtime Literature. Not exactly a Pultizer Prize material, is it? It looks like a collection of poems he's written. Poems? Cool! <laughs> Read one out. And say it in your best French accent. With intensity! Okay? Oh god. Okay, um, here's one. <clears throat> it's called Printemps. These two of them, like actors from a film. The coffee's still on drunk. Sweet nothing's over too soon. On that sad Saturday Sunday morning. The foolish cocktail so delicious. Take the last sip of your tea, and I know what I will do. I must lie to you. I must. Is it different from the last one? Uh, no. Huh? That's it? Yep, that's a poem for you. 
god. Do you want to interact with all quick. these things again? Because we did that, we did this all last time, I think. If you want, real quick though, why is there a picture of Edgeworth wearing the fucking drip, f supreme drip outfit in my, <laughs> in my recommended? Here, let me let me put it in what for you. <laughs> I am going to show stream. Hold on. No! They're gonna yell at me because I have YouTube in light mode. <laughs> the prosecution is <laughs> dripped out, Your <laughs> Honor. <laughs> <laughs> the, prose <coughs> the prosecution is dripped out, to Your Honor. <laughs> what are these lace curtains for? I don't know, but they give the place a real homey feel, don't they? Hmm, nice curtains. You know, if I was cooking a pot, I'd be perfectly happy to sit on, the, on, sit on the shelf under those. Yeah. How do you respond to something like that? <laughs> <laughs> now, I know that I'm in a French restaurant. I've never heard most of these seasonings. Hey, Nick! This container has oyster sauce? <laughs> What's that? It's not used in Chinese food. Look at these knives. They look really sharp. I like to see how one of those slices through a or one of those slices through a cheesecake. Whoa, I had a stroke. A cheesecake? You don't exactly need a sharp knife for one of those, Nick. Mm, 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 mm. So does that mean like Phoenix is a sweets kind of person? Mm, I don't know if that's what it means. I mean, we can conclude that he likes cheesecake. Cake. Mayhaps, that's yeah. Spot. That is true. Hmm, that smells good. Something's bubbling away nicely in that pot. Must be the lobster and abalone fricassé with a prismatic vinaigrette. Well, son. Isn't that what I Shut ate up. yesterday for lunch? Yeah, I think it's been permanently burned into my brain now. It's, it's an example of what truly awful food tastes like. I bet it tastes really good if it was prepared well. Ball saw me even. Whatever that means. I don't know what that means. You don't exactly have many customers, do you, Mr. Armstrong? No, you are right, Monsieur. <sighs> you Sorry, okay? I got EP. But perhaps is that is the perfect time for me to visit for you to visit me, no? That way I can give my undivided attention and cook for you la dish supreme. Putting on a brave face, huh? That's what girls do, Nick. But you are right. Business is very difficult these days. Perhaps the name is la problem. People do not understand. They think it is Trey. <laughs> Trey Bien. I just wanted people to think that my restaurant was exclusive. But I think you just serve fast food on the cheap. Pla on, on cheap plastic trays. Nick, that's the kind of thing that can make a, like, a girl cry. Have you forgotten that Mr. Armstrong is a man, Maya? Hey, Phoenix. What if Mr. Armstrong wants to become <laughs> Mrs. Armstrong in the future? He did say inside is a little girl. A sad little girl. <laughs> oh my saying. god, I can't imagine him having like Gru's voice. Who? Gru. Despicable me. <laughs> You're smiling, you know no. it's true. No, I don't want that. That would make me But hate. this is <laughs> the restaurant is my life. It is everything to me. I will defend it to la finale. No one will take it from me. My lord. So, who was that woman you were just talking to? Oh la la, you saw that? You saw that? Ah, well, yes. Sorry. So, who is she? They look so polite and graceful. Are you listening? And arsenic. Ars 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 
p polite and graceful. And she likes around me and fires, right? I'll be back next one. Oui, naturellement, I will be waiting for you. Oh, get out of my sight. If you haven't gotten it by then, I'm afraid it might get a little hot around here. Hello. No, I will have everything ready. I promise. I <laughs> when he does his little like. I like his little pout. Also, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does a whole. No, no. <laughs> when he's oiled up. <laughs> <laughs> now that I think about it. Hey, Maya. I think it's pretty clear what kind of conversation they were having. You think so? Well, then let's show him that piece of evidence and see what happens. And My thoughts exactly. I, actually, I was literally My thinking head. about presenting this afterwards anyway. So long as that paper exists, I'm a delightful angel with like broken wings. An angel, huh? Doesn't bode well when you think about it. Please, they kept a rest I can see you yawning! Stop! Oh. You're not, I was doing it quietly so you wouldn't do it. <sighs> but in a day I can see you doing it, so it's... yeah. <laughs> we they kept harassing me month after month. Oh. In the end, I had to give it to them. I agreed to help them. Help them? With what? Me and being sick, if I did not owe them that money, I would have refused. But my hands were tied. Oh shit. Please, what did you agree to help them with? No, I, I cannot say. It's like, look. If I tell you that woman, she will slice me up into a filet mignon and eat me with the salad garnish. Ew, I hope he doesn't mean that he'll literally be sliced up and served with garnish. I'm going to guess that woman has something to do with your loan contract. Am I right? Ah! Oh. Please, Mr. Armstrong. Tell us about that woman. The woman who was here earlier. I take it that she's... Um... He's a girl Why boss. has it come to this? What a tragedy. Suddenly, I find myself so deep in that debt. It is a sign to, of la bad, but the world we live in. Oh. In la bad. <laughs> no, I'd say it's more of a sign of la bad, bad culinary skills. <laughs> <laughs> the woman who was here, the scary woman, she's from la loan office. Oh. Is that the word you were thinking of? Loan office? Is that where you borrowed a half a million dollars from? We oui, tender lender. It is called. See, I was close. I where said lender tender. Where? Where did we see that again? Where was lender tender uh, shown? In the in the money. When we asked Ganshu where like. The half a million dollar debt came from. The owner of the loan is lender ten is tender lender. Yeah, yeah lender that's what I was there. saying. But that's tender what lender. I said. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, that's what you were talking about. I was trying to find. I was just trying to find the sheet. Okay. Catchy name. Just hearing it makes me want to borrow some money. <laughs> <laughs> Permanently. <laughs> I don't know why it's funny. I should have borrowed some money right now. Shit. Then they're London. some money. Hey, Nick. Please, you must not borrow from them. If you must, no more than $10. <laughs> $10? Sounds like your whole monthly st stipend. What? Stipend? What does stipend mean? A like, fixed regular sum yeah. paid as a salary or allowance. Hey, I got a bit more than that. Thank you very much. No way. Instead of $10 an hour, it's $10 a month? Oh. <laughs> so, Tender Lender is the loan office you borrowed half a million from, huh? 
Wait, wait, can I just say, Maya's the kind of motherfucker who'd be like, would you want 25 cents a second or a million dollars a year? <laughs> and she'd pick like the worst option because she thinks it would give her more. <coughs> How much money would you get if you got 25 cents a second? It was just an example. It was just an example. <coughs> well, I'm trying to think because like 25 cents oh, a dear. second, four seconds gives you a dollar. Four dear, times. It's okay. I insist. I insist. You get $15 a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, no, wait. Now I gotta do the math because I've gotten myself curious. <laughs> God damn it. So you get you get $15 a minute. 15, you you'd get $900 an hour. It's pretty good. Times 24 hours means you're getting $21,000 a day, <laughs> right? Times 365 gets you $7 million a year. $7.8 million a year. If you get 25 cents a second. Yeah, and Maya would go with a million dollars a year. I mean, listen, you're sitting Maya. pretty both ways. But you'd sit prettier going 25 cents a second. But, no, because think, if you're going to spend so much, you might as well go for the 25 cents a second. Oh, yeah. Because then you only get a million <coughs> at the end of the year. That too. Yeah, like you have one, like you have constantly regenerating money. Like you breathe. Yeah, and, and Maya would money. be the kind of person... Maya's the kind of person who just pick the one with most money because it has a bigger number. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, even if I you weren't making that. seven mil a year, if it was only like a million, but you were earning it constantly, it'd still be more useful. Anyway, sorry, we're getting very sidetracked. <laughs> Not my fault. I told you it was fine. You didn't have to. I well, it. I was curious, and then you started building on the conversation anyway, so it's all fair faults now. It's fine. <laughs> I'm kidding. Something. We truly are the dynamic of Phoenix and Maya sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they... I didn't mean! <laughs> oh! Sorry, I forgot. I'll pull it up. I wonder if they got... No, it's anything. okay, I can do it. Okay. Wow, and you're gonna read it too. <laughs> no, no it's I'm... okay. I get it. I wonder if they've got anything to do with this case, she said in the past tense. I get it! <laughs> I am a weak woman when I want when I am upset I have to buy something nice to cheer me up. This is the first character I thanks to again. Thanks to him loaning me la money. I have to pay half a million dollars now. Do you believe how much money that is? I am such a bad spender. I am like his slave. I have to do something that is eat everything that he tells me. I'm getting emotional. Um, who is he? Who is this he? La Tiger. Well, I'd, Phoenix I'd feel, Bright? I feel like you'd say La Tiger. Uh, Zin Eop. But. Maybe. But. The Tiger? It's Zin Eop. He had a massive tiger on his. Like a tiger. Boob. Why are you looking? <laughs> his man boobies. <laughs> <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Why are you looking at the man boob? Anyway, continue. Ooh, yeah. He is the manager of the Thunderlander, a terrifying man, the big city mobster. I'm such a frail little woman. When he shouts at me, my knees are trembling in my voice, and his voice is ringing in my ears for three days. As soon as he hears the noise of that battered old scooter he rides, I start to cry. A big city mobster who rides a battered old scooter. Um, does this guy resemble me by any chance? Oh, no, no, no. This man is a man as a presence, a most formidable personality. Although, we oui, he does have a spiky hair just like you. We oui, there is a resemblance here, I suppose. Was that why he was flirting with him in court? Was she just mocking him for the money know. he loaned? <coughs> Maybe. Hmm. Sounds like this loan office is worth checking out after all. If you want to visit the tender lender, it is just beyond a vitamin square. Ain't it? If you need money, I can loan you some. As long as it's less than three dollars. Um, thanks for the offer. Just beyond vitamin square, huh? Hey, that's the amount I have, Maya. Alright. 
Well, actually, I have four. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, there was one more thing I wanted to show him. Oh, the theme reset. Sad emoji. I love the investigation thing. I want to flip you off, DPG. Yeah, take that. Stop. What is it? Is this your scooter? No, no. I saw it before in Vitamin Square, you see. No, dear. No, no, no. Take it away. Do not show me that to me. Talk about an allergic reaction. Achoo. <laughs> Achoo. All right. Uh, let's go to blue screens first, I feel like. Yeah, that'd be better. <laughs> bro, talk about hunchback. What the? <laughs> what is bro looking at? <laughs> he don't even have his in. No, he is. Oh in my god, it's Salmonella. Please don't do that to me. Okay, sorry. I do but not. It looks like him. They both look like him. But <laughs> he's like, hey, bro is watching something on that monitor. He ain't working. It's Salmonella he's and watching. raw egg. I don't know. What? Salmonella. <laughs> January 7th, Blue Screens Inc. Not this theme again. Wow, this place is so high tech. You can almost smell the electricity in the air. Do you know the theme of this guy? Mr. It's gonna be okay. I will beat his ass into the ground. If we see Larry, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna like. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> hey Nick, I got a new job, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's the idiot. Anyway, all right. Did you read it? Yeah. Okay. It is a computer from Maya. They can't work without electricity, you know. Mm. Uh, do you want to do this one, or do you want to take it? Go ahead. We'll see who it is, and then we'll figure it out from there. Who are you? Oh my god. <gasps> Wife! <laughs> oh, um... <laughs> Hello. You want her? I'm sorry. Access is restricted to authorized personnel only. Make her as AI as possible, please. <laughs> Alright. This is a computer program laboratory. There are far too many trade secrets that could be leaked. Well, what secrets? Everything we see here is classified. No information can leave this building. This design is so sick. She's my wife. It's meet so. My, meet Goku, my wife. <laughs> Go <laughs> Goku. Miss Goku. <laughs> this is Miss Goku. This is my white dragon card. <laughs> Understood. Who is this woman? She's like a robot from some kind of whacked educational so my name is Liz Lisa 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 my name is Lisa Basil wait oh that's another palindrome oh and that's awesome <laughs> I'm the company director wait I should make her sound like fucking GLaDOS hold on yeah you could do that wait blue screen ink Blue screen. No, it's not a palindrome. That'd be too cool. The director? She's a she's human? She seems more like a ghost in a shell. And that thing over her eye. It's not the same device as Glenn Elks. That's it. Okay, sorry, I was listening to him. Uh voice. That's a DMH, right? Why is it an DMH? That doesn't sound right. Un <coughs> Ah, that sounds better. Anyway, nice try, but it's the other way around, Maya. It's an HMD. All of my, uh, fucking, all yep. of my programmers here at Blue Screens Inc. are supplies with HMDs. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> then, do you write programs too? No, I just enjoy wearing this. Wife. She felt silly. <laughs> I can't wait to find a cunty wife so I can make my voice deeper and like smoother. I need, I need her. They are pretty cool. I wouldn't mind one. Please give me one. 
This theme bangs, though. Why they got so much Monopoly money? <laughs> Whoa, look at this desk, Nick. What a mess. We should call Pearls. Looks pretty average to me. But you can't get any work done with all this... with everything all over the place like this. You think? Real whiz kids can work under any condition, you know. Huh. Just trying to hint that I should tidy my desk more. I'll clean my desk when Maya stops asking silly questions. Now hurry then. Hey, this calendar. What about it? If this is another hint about tidying, you can forget it. Someone's marked December 3rd in a red pen. December 3rd? That's the day Mr. Elg was murdered. Is there anything else? Yeah, um, it says meet with the tiger. The tiger? You know, like, rawr. Glenn Elg's, sorry, Glenn's calendar on December 3rd, the day of the incident. There's a note saying meet with the tiger. Added to the court He's record. a gambler. Look, he has like one of those horse riding guys. Oh, he, he like gamble. gambles on horses or like bets on yeah. horses. So he's probably like a big like luck guy. Super like yeah. based on gambling. He's really pounding that keyboard, isn't he? Hey! You know what would be funny? If one of them admits that they were 1337 princess. <laughs> 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 Wow, well, oh. I bet that's where the pro and pro camera comes from, huh? I guess I shouldn't be resting on my laurels. Gotta expand my skill set on and all that. Girl, what the hell does laurels mean? And, and then you bring back the trend all the way of which one you heard. <laughs> Stop. 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 I'm glad, I'm glad it hit. I'm glad it hit. Bestow an award or praise on someone in recognition of achievement. Maya, you want praise? All right. I think you are the cutiest, patootiest little baby I have ever seen. I love you, little baby. Cutie patootie. Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe you could become old series apprentice. Pro bird pigeon feeder. Um, and what about your spirit medium training? Oh. Hey, look, Nick. It's a supercomputer. It looks like it's, I expected. No, that's just a computer. <laughs> What's the difference? Nick, you really. <laughs> Stop. It looks like it's really smart and wise, doesn't it? Computers are only as smart as the humans who use them, Maya. That explains why we don't use the computer in our office. You work there too, Maya. Please. Don't argue about something so trivial. Otherwise, the computer will laugh at you. She said she'd laugh at us, Nick. She's a human, Maya, not a computer. I mean, I don't blame her. These pillars almost look like they're moving. It's kind of unsettling. Nah, they just look a bit twisted or wrapped or warped or whatever word I'm looking for. This office was designed with a futuristic feel in mind. Futuristic? Yes, we tried to imagine what things might look like in the future when we designed it. It helps to soothe the calm, the soul. On second thought, I agree with you, Nick. This place really is unsettling. Is there anything else to scope patch? Wait, 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 wait. Bring the cursor all the way to the right. Right, 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 right. Right. No, up. Up. No, down, down, down. Just on the right. Still down, but right. Okay, down. Down. A little bit to the left. Now give me head pat. <laughs> I hope you know I was intently staring at my monitor. I was looking at preview. 
<laughs> you can stop that. <laughs> <laughs> no more head pads. <laughs> no more. <laughs> wow, look at this mess. Looks like they're all betting tickets. Taxes. What kind of betting ticket? They're betting on which horse will win a given race. They're horse racing tickets. I was right. Cooker, cooker rating Thank up in you. here. After playing Zero Escape, I've been on edge with everything, questioning every single point of my existence. Like, my like everything God. in my life. It is gonna oh, be okay. Oh, wow. His joys are stuffed full of the. You should play Zero Escape after. Sorry, just mm, coming to that. Well, computer. I've already watched you play it, so I don't think I will. I will I'll do. I'll think about Danganronpa, because Danganronpa is probably going to be very similar to Zero Escape. A body has been discovered. <laughs> oh, wow. His joys are stuffed full of these. Looks like they're all losing tickets, though. Womp womp. Losing horse race tickets. Horse racing betting tickets found in Glen Elk's desk. There's over 500 of them. Tickets gathered up. Tickets gathered up. This many tickets would get you, what, a buck down at the recycling center? But I didn't know you were so hard up that you tried to profit from the dead, Nick. I'm just taking them as evidence, Maya. If you want to take them. I do mess with this theme, though. It seems nice. All right, let's go. So, what exactly is this firm's business? I will try to simplify it so that you can understand. We analyze the data management systems required by certain branches of our industry. And then deliver opting up. Up, up to, uh, hey guys, Optimal. malfunction error. <laughs> and then we deliver word, operating systems, and source level components to them. Optimum. Yeah. Huh? You lost me on the corner of analyze and management. It doesn't matter. They analyze stuff. You got that much, right? The software we produce is distributed on CDs. CDs? Yes, compact disc, digital, optical, storage media. Of course. These are used for software as well as music. MC Bomber! It is a small firm, but all of my employees are first-class programmers. Let's ask one of them what they are doing. God, it is hor- she's horrifyingly robotic. Boop. Excuse me, what are you working on right now? I thought he's wearing two pairs of specs at this point. I'm researching the impact. Uh, oh god, I'm launching a series of global variables, obviously. Pro influences response time and performance, so the code of independence variables and memory overheads is vitally important to the success of the execution. Well, you get the idea. This is the sort of thing we are involved in. Did you good people follow all of that? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, Leah. You and me. Let's have a conversation. You wanna run that by me again? <laughs> I just read the chat. Oh, oh. Dude, I'm so sorry. After you making fun of Lenke during your fucking pick cross game, it's only fair. Also, I know, right? She's so wife. Makes me think of GLaDOS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the voice you do for her is so perfect. <laughs> I would go with something like smoother and suaver. But honestly, fair. No, I think if for- If you see it's good. No, I mean, I think it's say... good for, I don't know. In my opinion, I think she just works as like, a, like an AI. <laughs> like she's human, obviously. But she's like so robotic. You know what I mean? Where it's like her design and the way she she speaks, her mannerisms are just so uncanny that it seems like that, artificial. That the way that she moved to the side. <laughs> yeah. The way she's like, let's check in on one of our programmers now. <laughs> that was like, okay, buddy. Your blank smile just said otherwise, Maya. You know about what happened, right, Miss Basil? You mean about Glenn being poisoned? 
Yes, I know. It's terrible. <laughs> she says it's terrible with the the most shit eating smile ever. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us anything that might be helpful? I don't think so. A police officer was here earlier too. But I couldn't tell him anything either because the waitress who committed the crime has nothing to do with Blue Screens Incorporated. Incorporated company name. Oh. How about Mr. Elk's desk? Have you cleared it out already? No, not yet. It's the one right in front of you. If there's anything that you that might be useful to you, you are welcome to take it. I guess there might be a clue in here somewhere. Gee, what, what, yeah. I thought you're the tiger. That'd be really funny. Come on, AIs are a little bit smarter than that. <coughs> Do we show her these? Um, would you mind taking a look at this? I'm sorry. The data in super admin restricted desktop access password protected. <laughs> Super admin restricted desktop access password protected. What? What? This is his badness. No, Maya. That is Sparta. She won't tell us any. She won't tell us unless we say the right code word. Code word? Hmm. Sesame. If it's not Sesame, then it must be her mother's maiden name. That's how it always is. <laughs> There's no point in having a password if it's always the same thing, Maya. I guess she just doesn't want to talk about this. Maybe we should focus on asking about Glen Elg. What do you say? Alright. I'll do that, though. The game really said pay attention. <laughs> um, about Mr. Elg. He was a top programmer. I would even say he was a genius. But he did suffer from... One or two bugs in his personality. If this does not scream AI, I don't know what does. Sorry. <laughs> oh, like what? <laughs> he was a bit of a loser. Perhaps that would be the best way to describe it. <laughs> That's what got him into trouble. What's the matter? He was a top programmer. I would even say he was a genius. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, no, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I love this design. It's so fun. <laughs> her shoulder pads, her like her like weird like lights on her suit. Her, like super sharp shiny design. I love this so much. It's so cool. So which one is Derpy? Uh, the one on the left, apparently. It's messed up, but whatever. I see how it is. Anyway, I am very curious to see how things develop. So, El Tigre, Mr. Tiger Man, probably our faker, probably our Zinyop, our fake Phoenix, F fake Nix. Um, we're gonna have to see him soon. I wonder how Mr. Kudo's doing. We'll probably see him in, a, in the... I live. Right in the square. Hey, welcome back. So he was really a trouble at... He was really no trouble at all. A model employee. Hey, wait a minute. Just now you said something about him being in trouble. Gotta find out what this trouble was exactly. Uh-oh, please. Um, about Mr. Elg. Was he in some kind of trouble? Um, sorry? Why would you think that? I thought you said something about it just now. He said he got himself into trouble because he was a bit of a loser. Dot, dot, yeah. dot. 
I don't know why the inverted look on that room looks so cool. Because it's a blue room. So. Yeah. Three psyche locks? I guess Mr. Elk is like every other man in his own pile of secrets. I almost started reverting back to robot for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're not gonna do anything else out of her, I'd imagine. Also, what I'm talking about is this one. He's not sleeping, he's staring at whatever the hell's on his monitor. It's probably not code, I'll be honest. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll head back to Trebian for now. Alright, Vitamin Square next! January 7th, Vitamin Square. Hmm, I don't see any sign of Mr. Kudo, do you? Maybe he went to buy another ton of bird seeds. I was kind of hoping he wouldn't be here anyway. At least, not for now. Besides, any more seeds today and I'm liable to turn into a real phoenix. Oh, his motorcycle's here again. The pigeon's gone. Or the dove. Oh. Hey, check this out. I'm gonna get too close to that if I, if I were you. Otherwise, you might be in for a shock. My phone must be lurking somewhere, someplace nearby. Just imagine a tiger loose in the city. Meanwhile, the real phoenix is like an abandoned chick lost in the vast urban jungle. Huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Someday you'll grow up and be a ferocious tiger too. Don't lose hope. Why is she trying to pep talk me into becoming my phony? Because he's cooler. Why is she comparing champ. a chick to a tiger? I used to love sandboxes like you. You would not. Oh, hold on. I used to love sandboxes. Like, you would not believe. Should be two commas there. Really? You? Sure. Finding iron feelings, fillings in the sand with a magnet was my favorite thing to do. Iron filings? Wow, that's too exciting for filings. words. Filings! Yeah. Finding iron filings. <laughs> Sorry, uh, um, let me, let me... Because feelings would be two L's. Sure, finding iron filings in the sand with a magnet was my favorite thing to oh, do. Oh, you don't need to reread it, that's fine. I was looking, I was looking to shoot. It was my ambition to collect every single shred of iron in the sandbox. I was such a kid back then. So, did you manage to get all the iron? No, I never did. I think I'm getting close, though. Come to think of it, I still have all the iron filings I found way back when. You want them? No. <laughs> this needs to be a screenshot. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna save that for later. <laughs> this this place is so uh, it's funny. This place is just like me for real. That's not a bad thing. Besides, I love apples. They're among my favorites. Then that apple side is perfect for you. And what is so perfect about it? Oh, come on. Don't be a stick in the mud. Slide down it a few times. Go on. Woo! No way. I get covered in sand if I slid down that slide. Anyone can see that. Yeah, you're right. Otherwise, I'd give it a try, too. Oh, this is clean. Hello, birdies. Hey, look! Pigeons! Yeah, and heaps of them, too. Did you know that pigeons are a symbol of peace? That's a dove, not a pigeon. Mm. Poor things. So, they can't be symbols of peace and harmony just because they're gray? Is that it? You're overthinking this one by just a smidge, Maya. <laughs> Looking at this orange reminds me. Of what? Now you're supposed to eat a lot of them to ward off cold in the winter. You can't have fun during the holidays if you're sick in bed, you know? Speaking of fun, if we get Maggie acquitted, maybe we can all spend... I'll get together sometime. Okay, but what do we play with someone who's never even won a game of tic-tac-toe? How about we change the rules a bit then? We could play Old Maid and, um... <laughs> yeah. What's so funny? 
Never mind. We can say that the person who's left with the old maid at the end is the winner. How's that? That's what I was giggling at. They're trying to hook up Gumshoe oh. to with Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. We could even rename the game to Fair Maiden. Right. That's so cute. That Whoever's is cute. left with the maiden wins. That's adorable. This looks like, you know, like thrift shopping? That's kind of what it's like. Oh, hey, Phoenix. January 7th. Pain! Um, oh my god, yeah. And then April, May! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Imagine him as April May. The fake nix. Zinyop. He has a, like he has a pink boom box and uh what is that in the corner? Drunk. Cards. January 7th. Money? Tender Lender. This place gives off a really strange vibe, doesn't it? Looks like the tiger is in his lair. That is, as they say, a very good thing. I'm assuming it's a girl. Welcome. Talk about a creepy voice. Makes you so want to shiver up and die. Yep. You're here to discuss alone? Uh, no. Not exactly. The manager is away at the moment. Wait quietly, please. Why am I cutting me off when I do that? She's gone. Just like that. You sound fine, don't worry. I guess we'll just have to come back another time. But this is the perfect opportunity, Nick. This place reeks of suspicion. Come on, Nick. Let's take a look around, okay? Do you think it'd be okay? Of course. I don't want to love her now. Coffee. Ah! I'll leave it here for you to enjoy. Quietly. Don't ever drink that. Yes, thank you. Do not touch the desk, please. <laughs> oh, that desk is so shiny. Nick, let's get out of here. Now she wants to get out of here. I want to say, I always find it cool when they leave little hints of like, who is what in the background, like Phoenix's jacket. Yeah. You're like little... That's fucking... I love this That's game. That's cool. What's <laughs> this? It's a punching bag. What? No way! You didn't catch me walking around with a bag like that. That's a little anti-flow kind of sheen. What do you mean, walking around? The design's gross to start with, and it's way too heavy to be practical. And why is it called a punching bag? Don't people know messenger bags are in? I knew it. I was right before, back at Tribune. Paris fashion is more my thing. I really, really hope she's pulling my chain on this one. Oh, you can't do the window. <laughs> Punching bag anyway. Don't people know messenger bags are way more in style? <laughs> She's so cute. God, so dumb. <laughs> That's what impressive desk on one impressive rug. It's solid gold, Nick. Gold. Look at that shine. Only real gold shines like that. Did you really want such a shiny desk, though? I don't know, but let's see what it's like to sit on a solid gold desk. Wow, I'm completely dazzled. That's because it's completely dazzling. I can see my nose in the reflection. That's gotta be really distracting. So the desk isn't practical. No surprise there. Yeah, wow, really? You gotta sit at it to understand that? There's a CD player on the desk. But the desk is so loud, it's a wonder you can hear it. I get it. The lid's open. I wonder what kind of music the tank is into. Have you finished the coffee? Ah! Yes, thanks. It was lovely. Mm, so, you drink it all? <laughs> mm. 
If you touch anything else that doesn't belong to you, there's always another cup. That coffee, it, it was laced with something. I'm almost sure of it. Nick, my stomach, it's killing me. Oh, wait, <laughs> maybe it was just the bigger I ate for breakfast. Uh, I sure hope so. We better take a look at the CD while we're still alive and have the chance. Well, they actually what actually did the? Drink it. What? It's not the Rocco soundtrack, is it? Claw of the Tiger? It's... It's a demo CD. The artist's name is in handwritten on the disc and pen. MC. Bomber. What? How? This must be the CD Maggie told us about. Let's listen to it. I bet it's heavy metal. No way. That woman will make us drink more coffee if we do. MC Bomber. Found at Tender Lender. A sample disc with the name written in marker. Added to the court record. Whew. Okay. Let's see. This round doll thing is called a Daruma, I think. I figured I'd read a book or two to be more cultured, in case you're wondering. You mean you aren't making stuff up for a change? Heh. <laughs> I bet you also didn't know that no matter what, he'll always... He'll, he'll always write himself. That's oh. a weird way to say that. It's like, he can never be toppled over. Oh. Go on, Nick. Give him a good shove. You're gonna Only if I feel like dying. Now, this yellow thing? This is a Japanese chess piece. I think it's a king? It's from Shoki. Not that I'm an expert or anything. I'm more of a reversey person, you know? I think that's what it's called. Assuming she knows what she's talking about. Those aren't exactly your typical mobster wannabe items. They're not trophies, are they? Hey. There's a piece of paper sticking up from under here. What is it? A repair bill? Looks like he did some repair work on his car. Does he even have one? $1,500 to replace a bumper and a light? That's insane! The car is registered to the Cataverni... 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 Oh. Cataverni? Sorry, that sounds it's okay. so funny. <laughs> it's okay. Huh? So it's not even the tiger's car? Why would someone else's repair bill be in the tiger's office? Repair bill. A car repair bill for $1,500 paid by tiger to the Cadavern Cadaverni Cadaverini family. Thank God. I was right! Hooray! Well... It's not Cadavernius. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> the S was supposed to be like an apostrophe S. Okay. Oh. Went through compromise. <coughs> Discord. Discord, stick with me. Discord. Discord, please live. Live, Discord. Okay. I wonder what that's supposed to mean. It must mean something if they took the trouble to frame it like that. Yeah, well, it still doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, hold on. I think my stream's doing it. There you go. That... Ah! If you think it's delayed, you should probably leave and rejoin it. I did, I did already. That's Tender Lender's guiding principle. Oh? Compromise the customer to win. Oh, I see. How about you, Nick? Yeah, um, well, as long as you don't have to compromise my hair, I'd say we're okay. That's one slogan no business owner should ever explain to their customers. Ugh. If it's win through compromise, do you think you sell something to them? Like the MC Bomber disc. Do you think that was sold to them so he could get a lottery ticket that guaranteed a win, but he died for the sake of him not having to, like, return the money or, like, I don't know. Like, I... there's some kind of, like, scheme there where they're, like, killing people, but giving them, like, they think they win something, but in return is their life. 
Like, I don't know. I don't think they're killing. I don't think they're like a mass murderer type thing. I think there was a, this is a specific case, but they might be using some kind of manipulation with like valuable items. I'm gonna, st I'm gonna stick to what I said earlier. Hey, look at this, Parmesan, Parmesan style coat. It's so chic. <laughs> looks like more. Looks more like a pimp coat to me. Guess I haven't gotten an eye for fashion. Hey, look at this. This suit is the same color as the one you wear, Nick. Hmm. The same color as my suit. Ah! Keep your voice down, Maya. N Nick, you've got to take a look at this. Some okay. Ah! I'll just leave it here for you. Uh, yeah, so sure. I, uh, um, thanks. Just wait here quietly, otherwise. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah. D did you hear that, Nick? Wait quietly, she said. Yeah, sure. I have my eye on you. Only so I can take care of you. Understand? So creepy. Eh, uh, scared, Nick. So? What were you getting so excited about before? Look on the lap pull of the suit. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> you can't be serious. <laughs> what is this dog shit? This is awful. That's that's an attorney's badge. Is the tiger a lawyer? Oh, don't tell me you guys are- stupid? No way, look at this thing. It's made of paper. Paper badge, found a tender lender, made of cardboard and painted to look authentic. Added to the court record. For some reason, your badge suddenly looks really cheap to me, Nick. Why doesn't anyone recognize an obviously fake badge when they see one? You good? I have Pringles. Oh, I'm making me jealous, goddamn. Well, it's not your favorite. You like the earth. Since I have the sad key. I don't know. Someone dropped ashtray on the floor. The ashtray on the floor. That's going to be a nightmare to clean up. Yeah, it's all over the rug and everything. I accidentally knocked over a really big space heater once. Cleaning up was such a pain. It's one of those super antiques where you have to burn a ton of charcoal. How did she manage to knock one of those over? Aren't they supposed to be super heavy? Oh, hey! There's a book of matches here, too. Matches, huh? Please don't give those out much nowadays. Hey. Wait a second. What is it? Look what's printed on its cover. It says, Tre bien. Tre bien matches. Matches used for advertising. Found lying in tender lender. Added to the court record. These matches could come in handy. We might be able to use them. Yeah, the pilot light for the officer boiler keeps going out. Swing and a miss, Maya. Swing and a miss. I'll be wow. right back. I said I'd be right back. Oh, my bad. We'll, we'll wait here then. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, Le Tigre, AKA the guy I'm gonna strangle to death, AKA Fake Phoenix, AKA the Fake Feenies, AKA <laughs> Zinyup, aka my impersonator, aka doppelganger, aka not really because he doesn't really look like me, aka can't lawyer for shit, aka New Yorker accent. I'm gonna beat his ass. <gasps> okay, as soon as we can comes back, we're gonna continue. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs>
Let's uh, hop on over here. Uh, and while she's busy, I'm going to pat her. Actually. I can never. I can never harm little baby. I give her speechy, speechy, speechy. <laughs> anyway, I guess you hope we're having fun so far. It's already been an hour and a half, my lord. <laughs> I can't wait to get up to the trial. I don't even know if we'll finish this case today. This investigation has a lot to it, honestly. Which makes sense, because we kind of ended off the last trial with basically nothing. But I really hope we get to see Goto today. I want to see Goto. Sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> I love Goto's theme. It's so juicy, yummy, good. I'm scared as to what's going to happen here. Because, like, the coffee thing is, is kind of freaky. Not freaky, but, like, scary. But, like, it's... Because <sighs> we drank... Phoenix or someone drank the coffee, right? Or maybe we both did. And if that coffee's laced with something, then this uh, this investigation might end uh, very abruptly, and that's very scary. We still have two psyche locks to take care of, too. Uh, Gumshoes is probably going to be super easy, all, all things considered. I just want to tackle... I think it's best to tackle everything that we can right now and then Psyche locks last so we know that we have as much information as possible. Uh, hopefully, anyway, fingers crossed. Um, hopefully we don't get stuck on a Psyche lock or two today. That would suck. Like <laughs> uh. this probably as long as the first case. The first case seems... What is it called? The first case was fairly short. So if that's the case then. Thumbs up. <laughs> Gumshoe and Maggie's the third best ship. Ah, yes. Right behind my boy Phoenix and Edgeworth and Francisca and Maya. <laughs> no, Gumshoe and Maggie are goaded. I, they, they gotta... They gotta... Boom. I need I need some kind of magnificent revolution uh, re revolution magnificent revelation not revelation oh I can't talk some magnificent conclusion to their budding romance that's what I need and that's what I need in my life thank you very much I love water. Make sure to take a sip, by the way. Pro tip, pro tip. Uh, that is a top two. Can't say them yet, though. Maybe canonically. Fandom-wise, I feel like Phoenix and Edgeworth are up there, but, you know, I digress. <laughs> um, or maybe canon-wise is different. <laughs> oh, my God. Now we go, please. Oh Hurry, come back, come back, come back. Hurry up. How much longer? <laughs> <laughs> Having her in the middle here so I can just like do whatever I want is so funny. <laughs> hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I want to play more Ace Attorney. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Ace Attorney. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Ace Attorney. <laughs> uh, by the way, I think it's a friendly reminder now. Um, <laughs> If you haven't done so already, X Wish Point Me can chat. Check out Mish Mika Chu. She streams every weekday. Funny art and usually other things because she gets distracted and or tired. Um I was literally on her stream earlier today. Smile. Um 
I, I'd recommend hopping over there. She streams weekdays on YouTube in the mornings. Uh, and she also makes fantastic art on Twitter. So, pro tip, go to Mikachu Twitter and drop a follow. Thumbs up. <laughs> I would totally do that if you get the chance. Of course. Yeah, I got mad. I don't know. I was so mad. I also making predictions now. Who do I think is the murderer? It's probably Tiger. Let's be real here. It's the Tiger. It's Mr. Fake Phoenix. Fakey Phoenix. Mr. Man. Mr. Red Guy. Mr. Hot Cheeto. It's probably him. Right? The question is how he did it. Well, we know how he did it. He put some thing in his drink. Sorry. I got caught up in a whole ass conversation. It was insane. It was funny. Now my Because what it was, it was like my dad's like, I'm seeing a ton of people stream getting a lot of money. But you ain't getting a lot of money. And he's like, why don't you get money then? And I'm like, well, I am by streaming. He's like, but you don't get anything. And I'm like, well, if I don't, and he's like, you spent too much time streaming, not much time getting. And I'm like, but if I don't stream, <laughs> then I'll never get because I need to build up a watch hour to have the, this, like the availability to actually get money and monetize. It's like, let's. Like any platform like and he's like well are you getting the right public and i'm like i don't know what do you think my audience is he's like i don't know what is it and i'm like people who like me my mom's like people with adhd because your streams go every day at <laughs> 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 i was gonna say it's like first of all not how streaming works by the way uh you don't just like turn on the camera and money starts flowing out of your asshole that's not how it works no i know it's, you gotta I, i'm talking I told I'm, I'm talking to the imaginary dad that's in the room right now give me give me give me a little pat so you i was know. giving you pats it's before. like i'm your oh it's like i'm like your cat you know those evil people with their cats and that they <laughs> pet it like while they talk about something yes yeah. yes listen this is not how streaming works <laughs> <laughs> this is not how streaming works, okay? You don't just turn on the camera and money starts flowing out of your butthole, okay? You actually have to work, put some time in, some effort, do a little bit of research, use your brain a little do bit. Do a little dance. Do a little dance. <laughs> anyway, I'm done. I'm done. Yep, yep, yep. Are you ready to continue? Mm hmm. Go ahead, let's go pokey. Sorry, someone also sent me something. A picture of their Splatoon character and said, "Look, it's Godo." And here, I I I'll see the stream. idea. No, don't show stream. This is the one time I ask you not to. Oh, then I won't. I won't show stream. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I just look. Okay. I'm just gonna write something. I'm just gonna write something. There we go. Let me see. Oh, <laughs> True, actually. I didn't even notice that. Oh, my God. Anyway, you ready to go? I love my husband, so I should know everything about my husband. Yes. Okay. The, the quicker we get this over, the quicker we see your husband. This is true. Read the line. <laughs> Come out from under the desk, Maya. What you what are you doing? What are you two snooping around in my office for? That nothing. We were just Bruh! My precious carpet! You just got ass on my rug. You gonna wish your ugly feet never came through my door. It wasn't us. It was already like you was wanna argue with me. Is that what you was doing? You dig you was can take me on? I'm gonna find you two in the pancakes and turn you into my new rugs. Give me like a gauge on the voice, by the way. What? Give me a gauge on the voice. <laughs> what do you mean a gauge on the voice? Like, like how do you, how good is it? Oh, like punchable. So good. Good thing, yeah. All right, it's it's Miss Emo Lady. Oh. Don Tiger, you're back. It's Don Tigre. 
<laughs> oh, that's his Maya? It's AM. It's AM! Ack, that voice. It's like evil seeping into your head through your ears. She looks like she channels ghosts in this bad way, and Maya channels ghosts in a good way. Honestly, that's a I'm very good way to put it. I'm sorry. Dawn Tiger. I knocked over the ashtray earlier, and... Deek, has she got a death wish or what? It's like a little kitty. Oh, right. Huh? F forget about it. F forget about it, Violetta. It's nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta... God damn it. What? What? Aww. What? <laughs> I ain't gonna get mad at you. You too cute, you hear? That's so unfair. Here, I have some cookies. I just baked them. Ship it. Sorry. <laughs> They're cute together. And you'll need some strong espresso while you're discussing your loan. Wah! Phoenix Rack! <laughs> he's, he's the kind of guy who'd be like, ain't she the prettiest? Honestly, true. <laughs> you guess? You was either crazy or you just playing stupid to chase after me. I worked so hard, but now you's gotta come and mess up my plan. So it was him. He's my phony. Heh, <laughs> but I don't care. No one gets in my way. What? I mean, excuse me? Seriously, this sprite gives me nightmares. It's like, like Von, it's like Von Karma's face with Matt on guard's scar. Ew. And Phoenix is here. And Gant's suit's skin color. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you should have left the little, left the little girl at home, right? Um, um I have a few things I want to ask. <laughs> ah! No questions. This is the last time we meet. Ah, wait, but please. That was pretty weak, Nick. You waited until he was out of the earshot before you shouted after him? Like, you're one to talk. I didn't hear you scream, HOLD IT, either. <laughs> the espresso. Ah! Stop screaming. Okay. And cookies. This one is definitely not good for my heart. Now, what was it the tiger called her? Violetta? I examine everything. Oh, I get it. Violet is purple. Who else is purple? I see. So, I'm kind of curious about your company, Tender Lender. Oh, Viola for sure. Oh. With the warmth and friendly atmosphere you'd expect from a family-sized business. A conscious rate of interest and an attractive repayment policy. Uh, that's conscientious. Conscious, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I get the feeling this sentence is not gonna end well? We'll tenderly lend you that little bit extra here at Tender Lender. Hey Nick, things are a bit tight for right and co at the moment, aren't they? I mean, there's that $500 you owe me from the card game for starters. Why did you bet money in the first place, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Why don't you take out a loan? Would I like to take out a loan from a place like this? Not so much. Tender Lender is on your side. <laughs> So, um, let's say I'm late with my repayment. What happens then? I need to give you more coffee. Drunk coffee. Um, right. I think I'd rather skip town. Hey, just remember I can make strong coffee too, Nick. Drunk tea as well. So, um, do you know about the incident we're investigating? What incident? 
Well, a man was poisoned in a restaurant just near here. That incident. Let me see. I was here that day. With the manager. The manager being the tiger? Ugh. Furio Tigre. I'm gonna call him Tigre. T Furio. Yeah. T Tigre? So that's where the tiger thing comes from. Then Eop's got a real name, Dick. Hurry up and find out more about him. Holy shit. My brain froze. Violetta, age question marks. Possibly part of the staff at Tender Lender. Thoroughly bitter person. Out of the Tender Lender Company. 42? Yeah, this guy's way too old to be me. Wait! <laughs> wait! He's the opposite wait. of your age! <laughs> yeah, I was about to say! Wait! What the hell, dude? They went in. Wait, is his name wait. backwards something, too? No, it's not. Obviously, no. Uh, Wait, hold uh, on, what is Maya's description? Great medium and training. Or. Maya's a the... disciple, a disciple of the Korean tradition of Japan. I thought it'd be something like sweet, something about her being sweet, so it contradicts the fact that. <laughs> Lisa Basil, the CEO of Blue Screens Inc., and Glenn Elg's boss. Absolutely not a robot. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as hell. Cookie? Sure. How do you like my cookies? I baked them myself. <laughs> Go ahead, Nick. The honor is all yours, I insist. No, no. Ladies first, Maya. <laughs> no matter how I look at this, I just don't get it. Tiger and the scary girl doing working together. Oh yeah, love it. I did get back sense. thing with Maya. It's not exactly coming across in your tone of voice. And I owe Don Tiger my life. He was the one who saved me. The okay. tiger saved you? What kind of fucking delight is this? Please. Address him as improperly as Don Tiger, otherwise, I'll have to. Why has there been so many couples? Mia had a boyfriend, there was the delights, and now we have this psychotic murder couple. Did you forget about Dahlia? Ah, Dahlia too, yeah. Sorry. You know, because, you know, she didn't really... Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, she made a whole sweater for Phoenix. Yeah. Uh, she has that redemption. I think she was okay. Nah, she just bought it from the store. <laughs> anyway. Blah, blah. Okay, okay. Blah, Don, blah, blah. Don Tigre. Don Tigre. Tiger. Tigre. Of course. I'm sorry. He saved her life. I'd just like to know how that happened. Can I go get my cheese sticks? Okay. Oh, yeah. Go I'm ahead. Very frail, you see. Go ahead. Okay, I'm real quick. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Take these cookies. I'll go get my cheese stick <laughs> from the cheese cabinet. Hurry up! Hey, Don't take cheese, too Matthew. long. I also forgot my phone. Hold on. What do you need your phone for? Ah, uh, our little Maya Faye. Better, 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 better. Wait. Oh no, I just go over her. Haha, -ha. stomp, 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 stomp. Bam. 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 Hey, we've been in this room for a while. Mm. I say spicy ramen, it was so good. You and your spices. You and your spices. I love spicy stuff. Me personally, I've I find myself to be a lot more tolerant to spicy things than I actually expected. 
Um, although I don't want to say I like love spicy stuff that much, but I'm like willing to try spicy stuff depending on how spicy it actually is. You know, if it's too spicy, I don't want to have it. You know, <laughs> I don't want that pain. <laughs> I know you were like, but a pain is a part of the experience. You have to break the pain and enjoy the flavor. Well, I don't like milk and I don't want to drink it. My tongue gonna hurt and it's gonna be real bad and I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> I swear. She's just getting cheese sticks. Scorpion peppers are so hot. What are scorpion peppers? Therapy, should I drink coffee? No! I can't cure you, so you're gonna have to sign it up. Okay. Coffee it is! Oh, the scorpion pepper. <laughs> Sorry, your dropping is really funny. <laughs> no, it's because uh, I was talking about uh, spicy stuff. Oh, I it. love spicy stuff. Yeah, I know you do. I'm like tolerant. You're anyway. tolerant. Well, no shit, because I'm here. I'm the spiciest motherfucker you'll see. Sorry. Hey, button. Just recently, I died once. <laughs> I accept the bandage on her head. You you died? Nick, I'm gonna channel her. <laughs> About four months ago, the doctor said to abandon all hope. I guess they were expecting her to take a boat right across the river Stikes. Sticks? Stick, river Sticks. Prob mm. But don't take regret. He saved me. He gave up everything. Everything? When I found out what he had done for me, I was happy. No offense, but I'm finding that a little hard to believe. I decided I'd pay him back with my life by serving him coffee and express espresso. Damn, he got a this free coffee machine, that's crazy. <laughs> I just want to say, I'm ready for Goto to absolutely, like, change his mind about who he's defending only because they used espresso and it's not, like, dark coffee. He's like, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? Ah, uh -uh, you're guilty! Throws a cup of coffee in her face. Guilty. I still wonder about what's in her, what's in her coffee. So, is that why you've got that bandage around your head? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't pick up. Okay, this. Um. So, what's the story with the he with the bandage? They put it on after the operation. Operation. That's just a little injury. A little fatal injury. <laughs> it's not fatal if you didn't die. It's a fatal injury. I just suffered one herself by the sound of it. So that's the injury you were talking about before when you said you had died once. There's another one? Four? Why? Ugh, she really keeps me out, Nick. Same here, but we've got to find out the truth. How are you feeling about this try this case, by the way? It's kind of long, in my opinion. In like a not a daunting, it's just long. It. Is, I mean, I can see it being daunting, honestly. All right, let's go to the January seventh Vitamin Square. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Feeding the pigeons again. There, take this and this, and get out of my park. Are we gonna have to summon Mia? Like I thought, he's really mad. Come on, Maya. Just keep your head down and let's sneak away while we still can. What? Why? Hello, old man! What are you doing, Maya? Ah! Gah! Hey, he just turned his head on us. His back. Oh. Yeah, that... Where did head come from? Because you saw his head turn. 
Hey, he just turned his head. <laughs> Fuck back. <laughs> <I> didn't... <laughs> I'm not surprised. I bet I, I bet I really hurt his pride in the in court this morning. Mm. Hey, Mr. Kudo. Hmm. Ha. Hmm. 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 P -p Pigeon. Hmm. Ka. Look, we really need to talk to you, all right? How with the demons, and with good fortune. Oh, 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 seeds, shell splinters, painful. I always knew you were a demon, Maya. <laughs> While you jam, I'm gonna eat. Ow. Sorry. <laughs> I just, it's, a, it's so military core. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry about what happened in court earlier today. Ka! Everyone, everyone will be talking about me behind my back now! A dirty old man who was so busy looking at the serpent girl's backside that he can't remember her face, a filthy deprived animal. Well... That's just self-aware. Not at all. Are you listening to me, boy? I don't care what you say. I saw that waitress put in. Put it in. She put some white powder into that young lad's cappuccino. We hear you. And another thing, young layabout was wearing an earpiece on the same side as the lens of his broken spectacles. We're really sorry. So I made a little mistake about the vase. So what? I know what I saw. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. Okay, okay, take it easy. Please, Mr. Kudo. Don't you take it easy, you spiky here, brat! Take this! Um, you said you were a craftsman, right? Gah! The modern world cats are not cats are on a craftsman like me, aside in droves! S surely it's not that. I come from a long line of craftsmen, right back to the time of the Shoguns. You hear me? I didn't become an embroiderer, I was born one! Actually, I'm kind of in the, situ the same situation myself. Hey, hey! I wanted to stick my fingers up that dribbling old judge's nose and scream right down his ear hole. Objection! Aww. Oh, so... Did you want to become a lawyer when you were younger? I don't think that's quite it, Maya. I think he's just in a bad mood. That's all. I've got a tsunami of frustration inside and it's ready to burst out. We let him start rambling now. We might never shut him up. What should I do? <laughs> Suck it up. Guess I better let him talk. So, there's not much call for craftsmen these days, then. Of course not, you idiot. All I'm good for nowadays is running errands. Errands? Everyone takes advantage of, of the elderly. Buy some bread, Gramps. Take the dog out for a walk, Granddad. Feed the pigeons, old man. What am I, some sort of too big community handyman? Oh, well... Buy some bread. Now that I can understand. But what's the point of feeding some seedy pigeons? Why don't people say what they mean? Get lost. That's what they're trying to say. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I'm just an inconvenience, you see. At home, at that restaurant, I just get in the way, don't I? I'm sure you don't. Wait a minute. What did he just say? At home and at that restaurant. Hold up. By restaurant, are you talking about Trebian? Did you get asked to run an errand there too? Yes, I did. The very day that young brat was poisoned. But what? So, on the day of the incident, what were you asked to do? Glad you asked, boy. Because I'll tell you what I was asked to do. All of a sudden, that young lad slumped over the table. The servant girl collapsed. I broke that vase. It all happened so fast, I was in a bit of a daze, you see? And the owner shouted over to me. Excuse me, why are you calling the police? Call them yourself. I should have said back, but I didn't think of it at the time. So, did you end up calling the police? Like I said, I was in a bit of a daze. Did you call them on your cell phone? 
Okay, do I look like I have one of those newfangled thing of jigs? I went out looking for a payphone, of course. You went out looking for one? I couldn't find one right away, you know. Wanted around for five minutes or so. F five minutes? So for five minutes after the incident happened. Yeah, sure. The owner was at the trade bid on his own. Why didn't you mention this in the court in court this morning? Well, I would have if you had given me the chance. Are you all bullying me out of the courtroom? Well, that's not really your fault. <sighs> Thank you, Mr. Kudo. You've certainly earned your kudos for today. Wait, wait, wait a minute. If that's the case, there's the more. I've got more to say. Oh, yes, I remember something else. Bailiff, escort the witness out of the courtroom. It's not my fault. You're the one to blame. You could have at least told us before we got to court. Is it really that important that Mr. Why would you? Sorry, 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 sorry. It's because, I, that... it's because that, that was like a long section where you didn't talk, and I was just making sure you're being like that you weren't like. Zoned I'm focusing. In. I'm just numbing. Okay, okay, okay. Is it really that important that Mr. Kudu was the one who called the police? <laughs> What's important is the unaccounted time important. before the police arrived. The victim was dead, and Maggie was unconscious. Which leaves that woman. I mean, that man, alone in the restaurant. <laughs> what the hell? Mr. Kudo might have, might have been chased out of the place on purpose. What do you mean? Maybe a certain someone didn't want him in the restaurant. Ah! Oh, sure. You go in and say I was in the way as usual. I swear I should have been getting myself covered in pigeon poop instead. Mm -hmm. We need to get more details about what, it, what exactly happened. From Maggie and from Armstrong. I would like to state one thing. So, and one thing only. Yeah. From the back, it looks like the other girl that we just saw. Which is what I said last stream, but I'm still pointing that out. I can see it. That is possible. The fact that, yeah, that seems very likely. Where'd the cheese from my cheese stick go? I bite into it and I look inside and there's no cheese. It's just the fucking, where did the cheese go? This is just a stick, no cheese. <laughs> All right. Oh. oh, she's not here yet. I guess we should probably try and do Gumshoe's Psyche Lock right about now, huh? Ah, <laughs> oh, we have three Psyche Locks to deal with. Let's get the easy one out of the way. The radio. Oh, that's right. I'm, I'm missing one tick on my meter. <laughs> All right, Detective Gumshoe. Tell me the truth. What were you listening to? No way, pal. Now that you've made a big thing out of it, I'm not going to tell you. We'll see about that, pal. Considering all the noise you were making while you were listening, it's pretty clear what kind of radio program it was. I'd say it was related to... I'm going to say the lottery ticket. Fine. Yes. I'm right, aren't I? You were listening to the lottery results, weren't you? You thought you'd try to win it big, just like Glenn Elg did. It's... It's like you can see right through me. Huh? I've cracked them already? See, pal? That's why I said it was nothing. <laughs> hey, free meter, yippee. <laughs> it's probably right there. Yeah. I'm usually pretty... Well, you have to, you're required to do all the psyche locks anyway. But. I know, but... It's, pro it's also probably like an easy one, so you can get your meter back for the other ones. Well, you 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 can never lose like completely. Like it'll just take to like less than one. But... I know what you're trying to say. I'm usually pretty lucky, so I figured I'd give it a try. What's with everyone in the lottery? So how'd it go? I won fifty cents. It'd be better Yo. to win nothing at all than ha have a lousy buck. I was so mad. Yeah, I know the feeling. How about the same kind of ticket as Mr. Elk, see? And they've got this special radio show where they announce the winning numbers. They even do the drawings live on the air. It's intense, pal. Honestly, that sounds pretty cool. I bet that's what Mr. Elk was listening to the other day he was killed. Oh, 
Yeah, what time is it now? Ah, uh, it's... It's just after 1.30. And are the lottery results always broadcast at the same time? Yeah. Look, I've got... I got this flyer when I bought the ticket. Millionaire Radio Flyer. Experience the most thrilling 10 minutes of your life every Monday at 1.30 p.m. Add to the court record. Millionaire Radio. That sounds cool. I want to try it, Nick. Then buy a ticket, Maya, with your own money. Well, I'm gonna head back to the precinct now. We've got a big meeting starting in a bit. About Maggie's case, you mean? Oh. No, that's pretty much wrapped up now. There's another big case going down at the moment, so she's been pushed aside. Okay, well, see you later then. Maya. Bye! <laughs> you better get going, detective, or you'll be late. Actually, I, um... I've kind of got a favor to ask. It's a big one. A favor? Yeah, it's for, um... Maggie, actually. I was kind of hoping... You'd give this to her for me. Aww, what is it? What is this? You got it. <laughs> it's a lunchbox. I got up early so I could make it. I've been real worried about her. She looks like she lost a lot of weight. Detective Gumshoe. How many weenies are in here? There's not a person on earth who would tell who could down this much meat. You think? I love Wheaties. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Bye, I can't their... <laughs> I can't get enough of their tender juiciness. So will you give it to her? It took me ages to make, so pl please say you will, pal. I can't exactly say no, can I? It's a I'm fucking just... banger meal, by the way. Just True. rice I'd, and I'd little I'd throw weenies. all those weenies. Yum, 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 yum. So, ju so juicy. I... I... You'd what? I'd, all I'd, eat all, I'd, eat, I'd eat all the weenies. No, 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 no. You'd throat all those weenies. <laughs> I didn't say that. Next, you're going to be like, I'm going to asshole all these weenies. <laughs> what? Gumshoe's <laughs> lunchbox. A tenderly, handsome, uh, a tenderly handmade lunchbox. Fills Luke! the stomach with love and plenty of weenies. Also, hello, Luke. Given to Maya to carry. That's crazy. Maybe I'll eat it myself if I get hungry. Don't forget, okay? I'm counting on you to give that to Maggie. I want one. It's finally gone. All right, let's head over to the detention center. Luke, there's more homosexuals in this game than I thought. Oh, hold me. January 7th, detention center, visitor's room. Oh, Mr. Wright. Hello, Maggie. So they finished questioning you. Wasn't it just unbelievable in court today, sir? I'm going to stay up all night and blog about everything that happened. <laughs> Aren't you scared? It's pretty... It was pretty touch and go in there. Yeah, but you totally nailed that old man. Well, he was all over the place with his testimony. He's not the only one. Huh? What do you mean? Everyone else's testimonies don't match up either. Not with what I remember of the incident, anyway. Is it possible? That she, is it possible she's the one who's remembering things? Here's here's my theory. It's not that she's misremembering. It's because mm -hmm. people think that's her, and what she saw was she walked in not with a coffee or with a coffee, but like she didn't serve it to him. He was already dead when she walked in with the coffee and then passed out and then someone else is the one who was there which is why they didn't see anyone else or she didn't see anyone else she saw someone there but they didn't because girl, girl you're cooking a little she too went, much right now no 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 hear me out she saw them was like all right i'm gonna give them coffee left to go get the coffee the man left and then they only saw one person on that table when it was put the coffee was poisoned Huh? Huh? I was huh? thinking I was thinking something more along the lines of she takes their order, goes to get the coffee, other girl brings them the coffee, right? 
That's they're it, working yeah. in cahoots. Then uh, Fake Maid leaves. Mr. Tiger Man leaves. Then she comes back with a coffee. And the reason why there's a coffee scene on her thing is because she pu she passes out with the coffee on the tray. Similar to what you're saying, basically. Well, I think, I think like, the tiger person was sitting with him because she saw the tiger person. Yeah, that's what, I, I agree. She took the order seeing both of them there. Yeah, that's what I. That's exactly what I said. Okay, you so just added extra page. fancy words because I'm. You know, <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're on the same page. We're on the same page. This is good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This guard monitors the visitors' room. I bet they don't get too many waitresses in here. It looks like he's getting a bit restless. <laughs> this is die. This is okay. Hold on, you're a page, right? Okay, go. I'm gonna defend, defend all the women in this game. They're being treated so poorly. Phoenix. Is like the biggest simp though. <laughs> Actually, I can't talk shit about the Phoenix. Phoenix and Drift know how to treat with. Well, no, Edrif kind of did tell Andrews to kind of like kill herself. Listen. Okay, maybe not Edrif. <laughs> maybe not Edrif. Desperate times call for desperate men. Well, okay. No, Are but the, the thing past? is, Edrif, if it was Edrif, it wasn't because she was a woman. It was because he didn't give a fuck that she was a woman or not. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, he would say that to anyone. It's it's like that one. It's like this one thing where it was like a guy seeing like a lesbian couple kissing. He's like, "Listen, I'm not against lesbians. I'm against love." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Edrif. Edrif's not against anyone. That's why Edrif's cool. If he hate every, if he hates everyone, he's gonna hate them like with no discrimination. All right, let's go. Maggie, you know how you said that everyone else. You know, provided testimony that doesn't match up with what you remembered. Yep, there's just so many things that don't seem to add up. The biggest contradiction is the other guy I saw at the victim's table. He was the one who slipped something into the victim's coffee. I'm sure it was him. But didn't Mr. Kudo testify earlier today? That it was the waitress who put some white powder into the coffee cup? Maybe she didn't actually see him do it. So you really think it was this disappearing man that did it? That's why she said, I'm sure it was him, but like, not because she saw it, but like, it's an assumption. I don't know. The way it's worded portrays it that way. Mm -hmm. Well, he's not the only thing that disappeared. The CD vanished as well. You know, the CD with the writing on it. Oh yeah, the MC Screwdriver album, right? It was MC Bomber, Maya. That was the name scrawled on the sports paper as well. They never did find that CD at the crime scene, sir. Or the victim's medication. That's gone missing too. Ouch, my head. This is getting way too complicated for me. You said it, you said that when you passed out, you said that you passed out when the victim, Glenn L, collapsed, right? Yes, it's so embarrassing. I mean, I used to be a cop. When I came to, the restaurant was buzzing with police. Before I knew what was going on, they arrested me, sir. So between the time and the victim, and the time the victim collapsed and the time the police arrived on the scene, you have no idea what went on at 3 p.m. No, no idea at all. Why? Is it important, Mr. Wright? The other, the other witness, the old man from the park, was pretty much chased out of the picture. Chased out of the picture? What do you mean? Old Z wasn't inside the restaurant because he was told to call the police. Exactly. And you, Maggie, were unconscious. That means Mr. Armstrong was alone in the restaurant for a brief period of time. No. You don't think Mr. Armstrong set me up, do you? When you consider the facts, it's hard to imagine that Mr. Armstrong isn't involved in this at all. Gah! It's like the master biting the paw of the dog that feeds. That it feeds, my bad. Are you sure about this, Mr. Wright? Well, the old man said as much when we spoke with him earlier. I don't know. The things that man said don't add up for some reason, sir. Maggie looks like she's trying to figure out something figure something out. Maybe you should ask Maggie what exactly she knows about old Sadie. Let's go to the lunch first. 
Oh, yeah, I've got something you're going to love. Really? What is it? A lunchbox, just for you. Here. Wow, a lunchbox. Weenies, too. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you, sir. Did you make this just for me, Mr. Wright? Nah, it was Detective Gumshoe. Who else would make you such a nice... Who else would make such a nice lunchbox for you? Detective Gumshoe? He's really worried about you. Looks like he put out a lot of effort into making this, too. I can't accept it. Detention center rules. No gifts allowed, sir. Hey, come on, Maggie. Don't be like that. The rules are rules. They'll lock you up if you break them. Somehow, when our next cop turns waitress, waitress says that, it seems a whole lot scarier. And anyway, I hate weenies. Oh, really? It's all yours, Maya. You can enjoy it with Mr. Wright. B but hmm. She's right. It's better than letting it go to waste. But... Hmm, I guess so. Gumshoe's lunchbox, eaten with Maya. Well, how was it? I hit the spot. I love weenies. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad I gave it to you then, sir. Oh. I'm gonna cry. Back when I was an officer, Detective Gumshoe always looked out for me. But today... Today I was the one who had to look out for him, trying to incriminate me the whole pause, time. Pause. What if you just showed the gumshoe profile, got it reasoned out with her, and then gave her the lunch? Maybe she would have accepted it, no? I don't think it would have worked out that way. I wish it would have worked out That'd be that cool. way. That'd be cool. Maybe it's an achievement on Steam. Let me go check. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You gotta remember, Maggie. Gumshoe's a detective. He's got a job to do. My old boss. I thought at least he'd be on my side. He is on your side. He'd do anything to help you. You can't fool me. I saw him in court today. I felt like a poor little baby woodpecker being pecked on the head by its own mother. Oh, she says me was pretty solid. I wonder it hurt her so much. I hate him, sir. I mean it. I don't ever want to see him again. Ouch. I just saw Gumshoe's chances go down in flames like the Hindenburg. I don't think it's getting through her that he really was trying to help. Ah, I feel much better after the trial this morning. I've been a bit... I've been a bit of... Blah, it's, I've been a bit... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've been a bit of a courtroom... Uh, okay, there you go. I've been a bit of a courtroom proceedings addict for years now. Feels like forever since I saw a witness as slippery as that old man. He's really not that bad of an old man, though. Still, I feel a bit uneasy. Huh? I thought you just said you felt much better. Maggie, if there's something on your mind, you've got to tell us. Especially if it has anything to do with Mr. Kudo or his testimony. Roger! I'll spill it all and see what you make of it. Is there anything about Mr. Kudo's testimony that stood out as odd to you? Actually, yes! The fact that he was even testifying to begin with doesn't quite... Doesn't quite what? Well, when I took the coffee over to the victim's table... It's true there was another customer in the restaurant. Yeah, we know that already. It was Victor Kudo. But I can't really say... It was an old man. Okay, then what about calling him a really old middle-aged man? No, age isn't the issue. The other customer was... a woman. A woman? Are you sure, Maggie? Well, I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. So, what did this woman look like? Um, she was sort of creepy. And she had... A kind of cackling laugh. Creepy. 
cackling? How do I get the feeling I've come across a woman like that recently? We should kill her. I know I used to be on the police force, sir. But I'm incarcerated now, so I can't use my connections to help you. All I can tell you about now is info about ex-cons or the clientele of Trey Bien, sir. Aw, don't let it get you down, Maggie. Okay, she's got nothing to say about this. Sucks. What if it was her? Does she, does she have more dialogue? Nope. Fortunately. Womp. Oh, we saw the CD. Never mind. Hey, Baroni. Alright. Uh, let's head Bye, back to... Bye, Maggie. Yeah, let's head back to Gumshoe. January 7th, Police Station, Criminal Affairs Department. The main server just went up in smoke. Why the heck isn't the press conference set up yet? The superintendent's here already. Yeah, and there's a problem with the internet, too. I already told you to stop using your computer, Chief. When I'm watching videos online, I'm catching up on my Asian soap operas. It's gonna have to wait, Chief. I'm throwing the switch. No, just in uh, I'm not gonna bother. Aw, some young guy? We're just about to confess to his son's hot to truck girlfriend. What is that? Wow, this place really is buzzing. Something must be going down. Something really big. Ah! Huh? What are you doing here, pal? Oh no, Detective Gumshoe. You can't be here right now. You'll be roped to the briefing if you stay. Huh? We've got a big problems here today. Why? What's going on? It's a virus! A virus! A virus? There's a virus ripping through the precinct's computer system! But I really need to ask you some questions. Hold on. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I see one of the detectives. He's humming something to himself. Your batteries won't last forever. Remember that when you're having fun in bed? We have a winner. A little joke to make People think about their smoke alarms. He must be coming up with slogans for a fire safety campaign. I guess. Does he even know what he's trying to get to get across anymore? I. Oh. <laughs> this must be the chief of detectives here. He looks lost now that his, the power to his computer has been cut. Oh well. I guess we'll just have to read the paper for now. Does this bro? Does this man do any work? Alternatively, you could read some reports. Just a suggestion. What the heck is this? This paper's more than a month old. Someone's written all over it. That's the goddamn evidence, you idiot. Who's the clown that put this on my desk? Well, speak up. He just sweated it up and chucked it in the trash. That's an important piece of evidence. It's like out of our court record now. That suck. Okay, I'm only gonna say this once, so listen up. Yes. No matter how poor you get, never borrow money from a place like this, you hear? Um, okay. If you got money trouble, just go on a noodle, uh, go on a diet of instant noodles and hang in there. <laughs> <laughs> He's been there before. Ah, we're not thinking about borrowing money, detective. We want information. Oh, is that all? Well, let's see. Tender Leonard is considered to be fi even fishier than the average illegal loan shark. And it seems it ran into trouble just recently. Those guys have been pretty heavy-handed, calling in all their debts. Oh, yes, can you please? Really? Don't go poking your nose around their around in their business, pal. You'll really regret it if you upset that lady. All right, I get the picture. Hey, wait a minute. He knows that lady. What did he just say? That lady. Who's this lady he's talking about, Nick? Better find out what the story is with this lady. So, what exactly is a computer virus, Detective Glamshu? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what? Look, I just go with the flow, all right, pal? And here I thought detectives were supposed to be somewhat knowledgeable. What's with the face, pal? You think you know what a virus is? 
Well, Nick, do you? A computer virus, sure. I mean, only in simple terms, of course. Really? Wow, you really do know everything, Professor Nick. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna call you Dr. Wright from now on. Hey, that sounds pretty cool. Don't you agree, Dr. Wright? Why do I get the feeling they're making fun of me? Okay, fine. I'm no expert, but I can at least explain the basics of, to the two of you. A virus is a program that gets inside a computer and causes damage. Damage? You mean it makes the machine go boom and explode? No. The damage is, um, well, it's all internal. So the inside goes boom, right? Imagine all the case data you've got stored in your PCs here in the station. A virus could wipe out all of that. That's the kind of damage I'm talking about. Whoa, that's scary. Yeah, and what's even more scary is that, the, is that viruses are infectious. Infectious? Most computers are connected together on a network, right? The virus can move from one machine to another over the network. So the virus keeps spreading faster and faster. Hmm. Just like a real virus, huh? But Nick, why would anyone want to make a program like that? Yeah, it takes ages to type in, type in all that data. Why would you want to destroy it, pal? No, people don't infect their own machines. They send the viruses to someone else. What? That's horrible. No, oh, I get it. It's like you season on Mr. Goto so he catches a cold. <laughs> yeah, <Okay>. go shoot! <laughs> right, then he wouldn't be able to turn up to court because he's too sick. You really shouldn't do stuff like that, Nick. It's wrong. Who? What? Where? When and why did the conversation jump to talking about me? Anyway, that's what a computer virus is. A bad program that causes damage. And all the different viruses have names, right? I kind of feel like I've heard the name of the virus you've caught somewhere before. Name of the virus, huh? I feel like I've heard of it before, too. What virus what? name are we talking about? We never heard the name. Whatever. Uh, let's just, I, I do not think so. That's a girl who works over at Tender Lender. You want to stay away from her, okay? I mean it. She does kind of look unfor- She kind of- She does look kind of unforgiving, doesn't she? That should be the least of your worries, pal. What's that supposed to mean? What could be worse? Her name is Fiola Cataverni. Verini. Oh. Wait. Cataverini. That's the 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 thing, the paper with like the fifteen thousand dollars. Ew! <laughs> what? Really? I thought he looked badass. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, Bro looks like a thug. You know what he looks like? He looks like Mr. Kudo. I bet they're related, maybe. Uh, uh, no. He's they wearing last a cool robe. Maybe they're friends. I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe, they're they're buddy that, maybe they're friends from the, the same, like, like, Maybe they grew up in the same neighborhood. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, like, related in a way, like, oh. They oh, like some kind no. of relation. Maybe. But I don't yeah. think design alone can tell you that. <laughs> She's the granddaughter of Bruno Cat... Cat oh, sorry. I don't think I read the line. Oh, you didn't read... Okay, go ahead. <laughs> She's the granddaughter of Bruno Cataverini. Verini. For... 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 Bruno Cataverini. Do you know who that is, Nick? It's like a funny last name because you know how to say it, but you can't say it in one shot. <laughs> oh, I was just mimicking you. <laughs> oh, never heard of him. Bruno Cataverini. It's the boss of the Cataverini family. The boss? The Cataverinis. That's one scary sounding name. It's long as hell. Hold on. Cadaverini. Too many syllables. <laughs> we can't touch them. They're, they're way too powerful for the, for the police. Is it like a mafia type thing? Like a like a mob boss type thing? But you're thinking of taking them on, aren't you? But no, I don't remember ever seeing I was going to. I gotta get some more info out of Gumshoe about this family. I'm not sure if I really want to get involved in this, but who are the Cataverinis? Who are they? The scary bunch of people, that's who! You're a cop and you're scared? What's that about? Trust me, it doesn't matter if you're a kid or a cop. These guys are scary. They got some serious clout in the criminal underworld. We can't touch them. They've got too much moolah. 
Lola? As in... They pretty much control all the cash in the city's black market. The black market, huh? That includes Tender Lender, I take it? Sure. No one stands up to, stands up to Bruto Cadaverini. And I mean, no one. Interesting. So, Viola's the granddaughter of some mafia boss, then? Yeah, and everyone knows how much Bruto loves his little girl. She means everything to him. So, how does she end up at the Tender Lender? I don't know, pal. But I heard she and the boss of Tender Lender are pretty tight. Tight. That's what I said in the... That's what I said in the file I read related to the Mag to Maggie's case. Sounds like a pretty important clue. Uh, What's the name of the virus? Yeah, so Please, don't we don't know. We have to do the psych. I don't know. It probably has something to do with the psychic lock, I guess. What psychic lock? Uh, the, the AI lady. Mm. Oh, this guy, the tiger. Is he famous? <laughs> Yeah, this guy's not a loan shark, you know. Nope, he's a big loan cat. Hence the name. Don't pay him back. And you'd better say your prayers. Because he'll eat you alive. You're shaking, detective. Someone had to borrow $10. Like a leaf. I'm just, you know, kind of on edge at the moment. If you know what I mean. I wouldn't go flashing that photo around if I were you, pal. Why not? That guy rules the criminal underworld. You can get yourselves in serious trouble. I'm talking say your prayers trouble. You're shaking, detective. Like a leaf. I'm just, you know, kind of on edge at the moment. If you know what I mean. Interesting that they gave you the same dialogue. Uh, I mean, I guess they're scary people. They are scary people. Is there really nothing else to do? We go to the AI lady. Yeah, let's go to the AI lady. Although I don't really feel like we're ready, but we don't really have a choice. I'm just gonna see what, you, what this is. Yeah. Let's talk about this first. Please tell us more about the trouble that Mr. Elg was in. I'm sorry. I don't know anything about that. Three. I do not pry in other people's affairs. She just gave us the dread professional business like cold shoulder, huh? I need to find out exactly what the victim was involved in. Looks like I've got to break her in, in a professional business like manner. Alright. Let's ball! You look so pretty, did you? Okay, where is it, you? Glenn's troubles. So, how about you tell me what kind of trouble Mr. Elg was in? Sorry, sir, but we do not deal with troubleshooting here. Perhaps you would like to speak to someone in customer service. I want to see her break so bad. Like, I want to see her, like, her psyche shatter. Like, imagine her breaking this, like, composure. So cool. Mickey, you good? What? I'm fine. Why do you ask? What's she talking about? I guess I'd better just take a shot and see where it gets me. Miss Basil, let me ask you something. Did Mr. Elk's troubles have something to do with this? Maybe he's gambling? Yeah, I was gonna say the... the this thing. Yeah. <sighs> what is that? A bunch of horse racing tickets. All losing ones. With that many tickets, you could get one dollar at the recycling center. You good people are very, very bad. Cashing in on others' misfortunes is immoral. Is that a whiff of hypocrisy, I smell? But what is the relevance of these tickets? The victim, Mr. Glen Elk. He had a gambling habit, didn't he? I don't think that's a logical conclusion based on the fact Everyone likes to go to races from time to time. Yeah, but not everyone buys this many tickets. Anyway, I don't believe that this proves anything on its own. Sorry, I hit it too fast. <laughs> My finger slipped. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, but I'm not through yet. Mr. Elk's gambling, ha gambling wasn't restricted to horse races, was it? 
Why would you show that one and not the ticket he had? Oh, uh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was like fairly Everyone confident on that likes one. Likes to gamble from time to time. Huh? But be careful. If you are careless, you could lose everything. Your money, people's trust, etc. Looks like I got that one wrong. Anyway, I don't believe that. Yeah. What, 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 what? <laughs> yep, 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 yep. So you say the ticket is better? Maybe. That makes more sense, yeah. I feel like they both work. They don't both work, because one know, of them one is, is like the aired program. No, one is an aired program. The other one's like listening in. Like, this is a flyer for a Monday thing. And this is a million dollars, which is different. Well, here's the thing, like, this ticket is from this lottery. I know they're correlated, but it doesn't mean that they're I, I get it. the same. The lottery, horse racing. He bought a lot of tickets and lost a lot of times. That's gotta have hurt his wallet pretty bad, don't you think? Maybe bad enough to be the cause of some pretty serious trouble, perhaps. No, oh. You are right. One did have a gambling habit. You good people must not follow his example. Do you understand? By the way, if you want to give her that, like, other voice you were thinking of for her, when she, like, breaks her composure, you totally can. Oh, I wasn't saying that. The voice I was going to give her was like, You people must not follow his example. Do you understand? You can do that one, too. That works fine. Which is, like, partially robotic, partially normal. That works fine. You can do that, nah, too. Nah, it's fine. GLaDOS is in the, this building. <laughs> Trust me, even if I wanted to, I don't exactly have the money to buy any. But if you win, there's no problem, is there? Are you condoning gambling or not? <laughs> and Glenn had a winning ticket for it, didn't he? For half a million dollars? Is yeah. that how much money he wasted? Probably. Yeah, but... It's hard to imagine how he could have been in trouble then, isn't it? I'm sure that Mr. Elk won a half a million dollars in the end, but that was his first stroke of good luck. He was in deep trouble before that. Deep trouble? What do you mean? Mr. Elk's real problem was with someone or something more terrifying and ferocious. El Tigre. Should I... What do you think? I, pre I should present him, right? Like the person? I feel like that makes more sense. Maybe? I don't know. Furry, Furio Tigre. That's, I'm assuming how you say that at this point. <laughs> the boss of a loan office called Tender Lender. Tender Lender. People with businesses should think harder before naming their offices. <laughs> like you're one to talk. Well, Everyone shut the fuck up. What do you think? My, one of my favorite artists posted. <laughs> we're, we're, hey, a hey, video. Sorry, I got excited. It's okay. Uh, that doesn't mean you can just I, leave. <laughs> I know, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. Okay. Yeah, Dippy, bye. I'm gonna go watch something that's more interesting. That's messed up, come on, man. Our firm is doing very well at the moment. I don't think we need to borrow money. No, 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 no. I mean about Mr. Elk. You think Glenn had something to do with Furio Tiger? TK? Whatever. Yes. I'm sorry. I don't know of any connections between the two of them. Really? Because I've got proof that Mr. Elg and the th the tiger knew each other. Oh, all right. So this is, this is strictly evidence this time. Yeah, um, the CD, no? I wasn't gonna say this. Cause how do we link he that? He had, the, cause he had the CD originally, but then we found the CD at Tenderlander. Okay, I'm gonna hold that in mind. I want to look at some other stuff first. But that's probably All right. it, to be fair, but I, I don't know. I, I, I feel on edge. <laughs> no, oh, I, it's I, this. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, that could be it. That'd do it. <laughs> that would do it. <laughs> Furio Tigre, aka the Tiger, is the boss of a loan office called Tenderlender. This is who Mr. Elk met with on the day of his murder. 
and the only thing a loan shark would talk with him about would be his debt. Uh oh. It is true that Glenn had racked up a bit of debt from his gambling habit. About. I can't 000. say that number, I think. 100,000. About $100,000, I think. You can also just say 100K if you want. About money dollars, I think. $100,000? Ouch! But I had heard he won the lottery, but he should have been in the clear. Shay Maggie couldn't get a bit of that good luck. Okay. So the guy got lucky and won the lottery. But what if he hadn't won? What was his plan then? Well, this isn't easy to say, but... He said he would use his talents to repay the money. A virus? Talents? I suspect he was talking about programming. Well, what computer program is worth $100,000? Perhaps you good people should leave so I can get back to my work. I'm so close to cracking her. The program in question. Was by any chance this? Now we do the CD. Thumbs up. I lied. <laughs> this is a very delicate matter. Without the necessary data, there is no. Re there's really no way I can access the information. I must have created some sort of program. She can't deny it if I show her the program itself as evidence. I'm so close to cracking her. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna take. I, Do we have? I, it's virus? possible you just don't have it. Gumshu kind of just did not elaborate. He just moved on. Yeah. I don't think I have enough evidence yet. I should investigate and gather some more clues before I try again. Oh, I almost broke your starry ass. <laughs> anyway, gumption time. I think I need to show him the um disc. Maybe. Oh, I didn't hit the right button. To Gumshoe, um, about this. What? I'm trying to concentrate on Maggie and this virus right now, so I. Ah! This is it! The stupid name, I remember now! Oh, wow, that was right. Okay, sweet. What is the virus? I thought so. Here it comes. Don't just nod to yourself and keep me in the dark, Nick. What's going on? It's okay, Maya. You don't have to cry about it. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, oh, wait. The name scribbled on that sports paper and written on that CD. That's the name of the virus. MC Bomber. My computer bomber. What? <laughs> yeah, the virus has just infected every computer in the station, pal. It's MC Bomber. Can you give us any more details, please? We already knew about the MC Bomber virus from a while back. A group of criminals issued a series of demands to the head of ha head honchos of law enforcement. They threatened to release. They threatened to release the virus if their demands weren't met. Who are they? I don't know. Some hot shots from the criminal underworld would be my guess. You now the virus has been released, huh? Yeah, it's in every computer in every public office in the city. Everyone's going nuts. They're hopping around like they're dancing at a carnival. A carnival. <laughs> This stuff, all this stuff with criminals and viruses, it's all, it almost feels like we're in a sci-fi mo mo movie. Movie, <laughs> you got it. Apparently the programmer who made this virus was a real genius or something. The focus right now is on tracing the route of this virus on the black market. You mean someone put this virus up for sale? Yeah, and because this one's so powerful. They're estimating its price tag was in the millions of dollars, pal. In the millions? A virus can be worth that much? MC Bomber. Found a tender lender contains a computer virus program updated in the court record. Ah, I can't believe it. I almost forgot the most important thing. And that is? You know, the lunchbox. How'd everything go? Oh no. 
The theme oh, change, please. the pearls theme is crazy. No, please. I don't want to tell him. But the lunchbox. You remember the weenies? I hate weenies. Oh, yeah. Those weenies. So, why do my weenies stay? <laughs> <laughs> Don't call them that. I'm going to throw them all up. Please. How did my weenies taste when they went down the hatch? <laughs> How did my weenies taste when they went down the hatch? Huh? Um, well, it was, uh, delicious. Yeah, that's what she said. Really? Um, not exactly. Don't worry about it, pal. I figured something would happen, so I came prepared. Prepared? What do you mean? I'm in a jumbo lunchbox. Oh. Do me a favor again, huh, pal, and oh. deliver this? It sure is a heavy burden. More ways than one. I can just imagine Maggie's little eyes sparkling with joy when you bring her that. Maggie's again, Nick. Tell me we don't have to eat all these, too. Maya, shut your trap! Gumshoe's lunchbox, a tenderly handmade lunchbox, fills the stomach with love and plenty of weenies. <laughs> Given to Maya. Again. I really can't eat anymore. It's fair, is it? Oh. Oh, maybe we gotta give it to someone else. Perhaps. The trivia guy, maybe he wants weenies. Alright, let's run the ship back. <laughs> Run the shit back and we're like, take that! Psh, psh, psh. Sorry. Alright, we'll speed through this puppy. I will not make any mistakes this time. I was welcome back out there! We're still on the investigation period. This shit's been going on for a while. If you want a real update on what happened, I ate really good cheese steak. What's this one? It's the profile, right? I literally had it in my brain. I connected all the dots, but the game was like, uh uh, uh you gotta talk to Gumshoe yeah, and be I, like, it also play, hit me be that, like, oh my god, Gumshoe, virus. I love your weenies. Oh my god. <laughs> Gumshoe, I love your weenies so much. Oh my god, Gumshoe, your weenies. Gumshoe, Gumshoe holy Gumshoe, shit. Gumshoe, please. I love the feeling please, of your weenies. More rice oh and weenies. <laughs> please, weenie, please give me more weenies. Please, Pookie, Gumshoe. more weenies. Gumshoe, I uh, quote, Dirty, seconds? I throw the weenies down. <laughs> Stop. Well, this is it, isn't it? This is the virus that's infecting computers worldwide as we speak. Damn, worldwide? I thought it was citywide. No, he said worldwide. MC Bomber. No. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. You hit that uh -oh. note. No. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'd like to imagine she goes auto tune. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta. You gotta set a voice mode. Glenn's head had more processing power than any computer. I have this one. But it had been infected with a gambling virus. Glenn was in too deep. You mean he was in debt? Yes. That's a lot of money dollars in debt. Not an easy amount to repay. It's one of these days I gotta sit you down and teach you how to read numbers. Thank you. So I, re I really will do that, honestly. He said he was taking some extra work, something a bit risky. Risky? How? Maybe he was going to become a waitress at Trevier? Where do you come up with these ideas? So, it's safe to say that Mr. Elg was the creator of this virus, huh? The MC Bomber virus, yes. It was a work of genius. In a bad sort of way, but of course, still a genius. Something like that would probably fetch several million dollars on the black market. Conceivable. Gumshoe was right for a change. 
This date, December 3rd, was that is marked on this ca on his calendar. That was his deadline for repaying his debt. MC Bomber, a computer virus made by Glen Elk, potentially worth millions of dollars. Updated in the court record. I guess we won't be needing these horse racing tickets anymore. Glen Elk's losing horse race horse racing tickets thrown back on the floor. He's a trash can, Nick. Alright, we're done here. Bye bye, Pookies. Ask us, is there anything in the kitchen? January 7th, Très Bien Kitchen. We're gonna have to give him the weeds. I'm 100% sure about it. Oh, uh, I'm sure he'd be like, Oh, I love gumshoe sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Mr. Armstrong's that again. The place is open for business. You can't have an open restaurant without a chef. Hey, it's not my fault, Nick. Don't take it out on me. Only a couple of minutes after the incident happened. Mr. Kudo left the scene, miss leaving Mr. Armstrong here alone. Ugh, missing when we need to talk to him the most. Maybe he's trying to avoid us on purpose. Hmm. You back? <laughs> Sorry. To the park! Yep. Not the park! Oh, wait, no, he has a psyche lock, no? No, he doesn't. <laughs> but, he can have some weedies! Okay. Oh, would you mind taking a look at this? Ka! Excuse me. You let me get a million of my grumbles off my chest, and I'll take one quick look. I've got an earthquake of frustration inside, and it's ready to rumble. On second thought, forget it. <laughs> a million grumbles for one quick look doesn't sound like a good deal for me. Alright, uh, I guess we gotta go to Tender Lender, huh? Hello, shithead. <laughs> Jesus. I don't Hello, know. I don't, feel, I don't feel ready. I wanna go back to Gumshoe. Gumshoe, please help me. Gumshoe. Gumshoe. I'm sure the, I wanna show him the updated We disc. gotta confess, Gumshoe. We ate the weenies. What do you think about this type of gumshoe? Uh... Oh, he doesn't have anything for it anymore. Okay. <sighs> do I have to? <laughs> I get so nervous when it comes down to those like really big psyche locks. I know, but you know you'll never know when you're ready. Look, I'll be right here, cheering you on the whole way through. Wait, hold up. I'll be here, cheering you through and through. That sounds better. It's so much like more noble sounding. Well, yeah, that, that's the whole point. Yeah. Is there anything I can show this man? Just out of curiosity. Nah, you don't care. Wait, wait. Let me show that to him, <coughs> sure. Sorry, I'm like coping, coping, coping. Give me a second. <laughs> okay, Pookie, okay. keep coping, coping, coping. Maybe something, something, something will happen. Well, I coped and I seethed. And I'm back to where I started. Alright, fine. Let's take this shit on. What does that say? It was very complicated, the operation. They opened up my head and performed surgery on my frontal lobe. That's what that says. Oh, just thinking about it sends shivers down my spine. You killed that shit, by the way, it is frontal lobe. So how did you get this fatal injury that left you needing an operation? I just don't feel like we have any info on this. Like, am I crazy? No, we do have info. On her family, for example. Yes. I made a promise to Don Tigre. I said I would never tell, cross my heart, and hope to drink a hundred 
cups of espresso. God damn, giving Godo a run for his money. For I am Godo's wife. How much caffeine will raise any raise anyone from the dead? Oh right, besides <laughs> It's a very precious memory to me. Uh precious memory? I'll never find out what she means if I can't break her. How much wood could a chick wood chuck chuck if I would chuck could chuck wood? Mr. Right. The head bandage. See that bandage around your head was from an operation? That, that, you said that you suffered a fatal injury to the head, correct? Yes. The operation was very difficult, apparently. Now, by fatal injury, you mean you were hurt very badly somehow, right? Right? Oh. <laughs> the injury in question has something to do with this? The motorcycle. Scooter. Sorry. See, I'm thinking... It makes sense. What is... This is about a car. Hmm. I don't know, because my brain is like, she yeah, got... Yeah, but it's under her... It's under the name of her family, meaning it belonged to her family, meaning it could belong to her. I don't know. It's I'm, I'm singing a scroll. <laughs> Why do we have this piece of worthless garbage? Because it'll probably be useful. <laughs> Wait, will not. I genuinely do not think that will ever come in handy ever again. Well. Nope. No. Well? Donut. Huh? I baked them myself. Homemade donut. Have one. Um, what's inside? Jam and... I'm sorry, but I didn't quite catch that. <laughs> um, thanks, but no thanks. I think I'll pass. I guess that was a flop. I can try the... Mm. I can try the other thing. I don't... Uh... It's worth the try. I... I really you got would. this, stupid boo. I just don't feel ready enough. I feel like there's something we're missing. Probably. Does it make me feel better? Oh, okay. No, we don't. We don't need anything. We're ready. Does that make you feel better? What if I present him? That seems stupid, right? Hmm. So what I'm thinking is that they got into a car crash. You know? Mm -hmm. What if the old man got into a car crash as well? Which is why he has a giant scar on his fucking head. They have some. Take that! I have your car repair bill. From this, it seems pretty obvious that the car was involved in an accident. Hey, see, look, I'm oh, looking. Oh, okay, so it's a car car. Let me see that. Sorry, I'm still in robot mode in my head. This bill is made out to... the... Caterverini. Yes, it is. I don't think I ever introduced myself. Tell me, what do the Caterverinis have to do with me? Something tells me she's not about to say hi and introduce herself. All right, then. The relationship with the Cataverinis is very strong, and this is why. This is your papa. The question is, do I... No, I, I show him. That makes sense. I know exactly who you are. Viola Cataverini. You sustained that injury in a traffic accident, didn't you? That was only one block. It happened about four months ago. I was driving in one of my family's cars and someone pulled out in front of me. Oh no, I can wait! It was a motorbike or something like that. I don't remember it much. Oh, so maybe the reason why he paid that she shit was the one was... driving. 
Yeah, she she just said she was the one driving. Sorry. I, that that clicked more than her. So actually. so so he's getting quote unquote blackmailed by his not blackmailed but you know like pressured into like working or like I don't know if that makes sense. No, I know what you're trying to say. Yes. She's like basically holding the debt over his head. Mhm. Mm yeah. Not that he, maybe she doesn't know it's him. Maybe it's her grandfather who does. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, but she said I ram into someone. Um. Anyway, I so I swear I have to try to avoid it, but Phoenix, right now. He's in your. I took a blow to the head. A bad one. What kind of shitty car were you driving where you don't have a seatbelt or an airbag? Yeah, I can imagine. It was a monster truck. So, what happens to the person on the bike? I'm guessing they didn't get away with injuring the Viola Cadaverini, right? I don't know what happened to them. I'm right, so she doesn't know. They ran away. Or so I heard. Ran away? If they'd stayed, I'd have. <laughs> Is it possible? The person who committed a hit and run bin. It was this man, wasn't it? He was the cause of your accident. I wasn't done, Tiger. Tigre, sorry, my bad. I refuse to believe it. Oh, it's got okay. American there. We collided the motorbike and my car. But Don Tigre isn't injured at all, is he? Because the tiger caused Viola a crash. I can feel it. Plus, one of her locks just broke, so she must suspect it was him too. I'm sorry, Miss Cataverini, but I have proof that the tiger was involved in a traffic accident on this on his bike. And then you present the bike? Yeah, I was thinking the bike. It's not exactly a motorbike, but... Music's glitching? I'll restart it, hold on. Uh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. No, Pookie, come back! Hold on. I need to do... Clonk. And... And clonk. There you go. Hopefully that fixes it. Fingers crossed. Also, hi, Leah. I know you're here, but hi again. It's been a little bit. Mr. Tigre rides around on a scooter, doesn't he? And you'll notice that the front wheel guard is badly damaged. Miss Cataverini, you know the truth, don't you? <laughs> His repair bill was paid by F Furio Tigre. Sorry, I gotta get that pronunciation done. The Cataverinis have known for the ages who caused the accident, haven't they? It's possible, perhaps. Somewhere inside me, I know that may be true. Sorry. Thank you, King Eyes. I knew it. But... Don Tigre still saved my life. The operation was very complicated. It was very expensive. How much are we talking? Very, very, very expensive. Seems kind of hesitant about giving me an actual figure. I should back off. Well, anyway, it was the tiger who paid it, paid for it, right? After I recovered, Don Tigre told me. He said he had paid for the operation because he cared about me. You sure it's not because he was going to explode him? Like his grandpa? I believe him. Really? But do you honestly believe that to be true? Do you want to know what I think? I think the reason he paid for the operation was because of you, but someone else. Peepa! Perhaps I shouldn't be saying this, but... Your grandfather, Bruto Cataverini, controls a lot of dubious cash, right? And you are his beloved pride and joy. Sure, I don't know exactly how much the operation cost, but 
If you aren't the granddaughter of Mr. Cadaverini, do you think Mr. Tigre would have paid the money? Talk about the successful. one million dollar. I got myself one million dollar. One a million dollar. One uh, dollar. One moolah. <laughs> Four months ago, I dropped my fucking water bottle. <laughs> Four months ago, <laughs> I was in a traffic accident. That's why I needed the operation. I'm really thirsty. When I woke up. They told me it was nothing serious. A simple procedure. Oh, really? Well, I guess if she recovered in four months, it couldn't have been too big. They said the operation cost one million dollars. Uh, uh, a million bucks? That's how much my smile is worth. True! <laughs> My grandfather ordered Don Tigre to pay one million dollars in compensation. Compensation, huh? It's underworld lingo for paying money to settle a score. Basically, pay or get into some serious trouble. But a million bucks? This has to be related to our, po our poisoning case somehow. I wanted to believe him. I wanted to trust that what Don Tegreda said. He said it had nothing to do with my grandfather being Brito Cataverini. I wanted to believe he helped me because he cared about me, not about my grandfather. Oh no. Oh, hold on, my fa- Her timing today is amazing. Oh, she has a tearful spray. This is so adorable. Painful, but adorable. This this recollection theme is like... Okay, sorry. Interior design. Hold on. What do you mean interior design? Hold on. What? Like, sorry, I have an email. Oh, email. Well, whenever you're ready, let me know. Please. I'll be appreciated. The Sky Shop has a new item. Girl! Oh, it's so cute! It's a little girl plushie with a bow on top of its head. Are yes, you checking your email please. for something important or not? Yes, 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 yes. God. We have a poor, crying, skinny operated girl on the screen. And you're like, Sky Plushie! Awooga! Say, I'll, I'll read while I'm like trying to figure this out. But I knew that wasn't really true. Thank God, Skelly. Wow, I'm so sorry. What he did to get the money was, it was evil. He said it was all for me, so I, I helped him. You helped him? In what way? Here, take these. What are these? Medical papers? I'm Bruto Cadaverini's granddaughter. He had to pay compensation. He was in the middle of an offer he simply couldn't refuse. Bye, guys. Viola's medical papers. <laughs> A one million dollar bill for cranial surgery. Payment was due last year. Added to the court record. Oh, he's okay. He's in debt. Wow, I feel so bad for Viola. Ha! I it's guess asking for stuff was an invasion. Wait, a viol violation 
of her privacy. Ah ha ha! <laughs> Sorry, I fucked it up the first time. So I had to take. I, I, uh, it's inexcusable. Huh? Oh. Huh? There are two I'm things sorry. that I consider inexcusable poisoning and betrayal. Only a coward would hurt people using either of these tactics. Specifically poisoning? Oh, but if you stab them, it's okay. Oh, no, but if I get channel, if I channel a spirit in this. <laughs> no, 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 that's not bad. But, but, <laughs> betrayal and poison? Oh, fuck, I can't. Bro, bro sound like Shelly D. Killer right now. True. Alright. My it's 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 fucking it's yeah uh, it's uh you know what never mind is everything all right nook you should get going right after we finish our, our espresso yeah i won't need to convince you of anything else so i can get rid of this repair bill thrown into the trash why would you do that we won't need it we where do we even that. go at this point maggie I guess so. Honestly, it feels kind of relieving that we don't have any more psyche locks. I can finally, like, relax. <laughs> January 7th, 3 p.m. Poor Pookie. <laughs> hey, bonjour. I have been waiting for you to return, besties. My oofies. Mr. Armstrong. Ah, good timing. I was hoping to find you here. We'd like to ask you a few questions. Well, he hasn't got anything to say to you, his fellas. I like his thing a lot. Ah, it's Zin Yop. <laughs> Who are you calling Zin Yop? Ah! Come on from under the table already, Maya. Okay, hand it over. But what? You just want to play games with me? I don't, re I don't recommend that. The medical papers. Now. Uh-oh. I think he wants Viola Cadaveri Cadaverini's papers back. You mean this? The million dollar medical papers? Miss Cataverini trusted you. That's why she said that. She helped you. Forget about it. That girl's dumber than an eggplant. You just want to know what that's. You know what? You just want to know what's sad? I'll tell you what's sad. And it ain't only her face. She thinks she's got power because she's Bruto's little girl. Now that's sad. I can't let you have these papers. Tomorrow in court, I'm going to expose what you did to get that one, get the one million dollars used to pay this off. Are you crazy or something? I don't care if you want to give it to me or not. There's two of us here. You got that? Two. Oh. Uh, wee, wee, wee. Wait, I don't get it, what? They're in cahoots. He's calling on him to team up against Phoenix to get the papers back. Mr. Armstrong? Forgive me, this or late. I cannot argue with him. Did you just get beaten the fuck up? Pretty much. Oh. Ugh, that really hurt. Okay, Maya, do your thing. Is that all you've got? I'll be taking those papers now. Armstrong, get that lighter. But wait. Don't take it too hard. Phoenix, right? I'm so stupid. I shouldn't have let my guard down. My, uh... Those medical papers were vital evidence. Hold it, pal! Hell yes! <laughs> De -de -de Detective Gumshoe? Detective? You always think you're gonna stop me, Kappa? Beat it! Rah! Whoa! Come on, Gumshoe, keep it together! <laughs> uh -huh. You guys, get out of here! Leave this guy to me! But, but, go, pal! And take this! If you get hurt, who's gonna look after, who's gonna look after Maggie, huh? Uh, all right, thanks, Gumshoe. Wait, Nick, don't leave me behind! <laughs> I'll get even with that guy tomorrow. In court. Tender Leonard's going down. To be continued. Oh my 
god. I should be saying that because it's next to my kid. To be continued. Okay, to be continued. <laughs> yeah, it's a two part trial. All right, you we do have so a bit funny. of time. We're going to do it. You ready? I'm ready. It might go a little Can bit I over. Fair warning. Everyone, go pee break. Go shoo. Go pee break. What, me too? Well, do you need a pee pee? Ah, nah, I'm, I'm okay. I can handle myself. I'm just kidding. I got I, 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 No, I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway, um, we'll wait a little bit if you want to take a pee break, I guess. Okay, what are you thinking so far? This case is both fun and both daunting. <laughs> I, because it's like, I, I, but I feel like I, this investigation period, albeit, you know, three and a half hours long, was enlightening. <laughs> Although it might have been stretched a little bit by a certain someone doing something. Anyway! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> kidding. Kidding. Um, what is it called? But I feel like we have a good picture of what happened. I think we just need to um, piece it all together, is what I'm guessing. Hmm. All right. You ready? <laughs> January 8th, 9.46 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby, number one. Oh my god, wait, hold on. The the artist that drew Splatoon, Ace Attorney, mixed together, also drew Team Guitar, uh, Clavier. It's so cool, it's so cool. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. <laughs> also, you should send you should send it to me. I think I'm gonna get it after stream. Alright. Alright. Good morning, Mr. Wright. Good morning, Maggie. So, what do you think is gonna happen today, sir? Yesterday's session didn't go so well, and I ended up on a ended on a giant mystery. That's true. And we still haven't solved a single part of it yet. Are you okay, Nick? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. I saw that, that little flash of doubt in your eyes. N no, that wasn't doubt. That was, um, determination. Why don't I believe you? It's nearly time, Maggie. You better get going to the defendant seat. Roger, don't let me down, Mr. Wright. I'm counting on you. Oh, let me just fade it out. Hey, pal! Hey, Detective Gumshoe. Quit stressing Maggie out! She doesn't need that! You're just How did you know it. she was stressed? I was watching through the doorway! <laughs> oh. You look like you lost the case already! Show a bit of confidence, will you, pal? Here, maybe this will help. All right, the thing that we asked you to do, like, a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, that was, like, literally before the, the, the first session. Huh? Have you taken up a room with therapy too? I don't know, Maya. Do you have like one fucking green cell? Do you have no object permanence? Not in a million years, pal. Don't tell me that you don't remember this thing. I love how the I love how the game has the window where the character is looking. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I think of it. That doesn't look like one of those aromatherapy bottles. It's Phoenix, not you two. We saw this bottle like a week or two ago, and we still remember it. What happened? What happened, chat? What, what's going on? <laughs> two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. That's proving my point. There's a small bottle that turned up in Trey Bien's kitchen a couple days ago. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my god, hide me, Maya. <sighs> well, <laughs> look at all these little bottles. Oh, they're aromatherapy oils. It's got so many, they're overflowing into the floor. On to. I'm getting, I'm getting messed up here. There we go. You felt hey, the need to do wait that. wait a minute. Yeah. There's one bottle that's different from all the others. Well, what do you know? It doesn't have a label on it either. And... Uh, it doesn't smell. 
I finally got the analysis results back from the lab. So, what is it? Is it the poison? I'm afraid not, pal. It's medication. Uh, well, why would oh, he that's steal? the medication that that was missing. Yeah, for Glenn Elg. The question is, why was it stolen? I eat it. it, it. I'm gonna pull a feeny. I'm gonna pull a quick feeny on them. Eat it, it, it. This is gonna be like the the grand revelation that like flips the case on its head type thing. I feel like. Cause this is this feels like a very weird like outlier. Why would he take it? You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, for ears. Topical use only, apparently. For ears? You mean Yeah, it's the medication Glenn Elg was using for his ruptured eardrum. What was Glenn Elg's ear medicine doing in the kitchen? Small bottle, the victim's ear medicine, found covered in in unidentified fingerprints in the kitchen. Refiled into the court record. Um, what about the unidentified finger fingerprints? Anything on that? Someone screwed up, so they only had time to an analyze the contents of the bottle. Another hour and they might have gone something on the prints, but... Hmm. It's gonna weaken its impact as a piece of evidence. Okay, pal! This is it! Make sure your defense is imp Impregnable today, okay? Pregnant? Yeah, that's what I thought. Today's trial. I'm gonna expose that guy for what he's done. Or my name isn't Phoenix Wright. <laughs> For my name isn't Apollo Chest. Stop! <laughs> God damn it. Dual destinies. <laughs> January 8th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number four. <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Maggie Bird. But I love the voice you make, you give him. That is my favorite part of the trial, just listening to you talk. Sorry. Sorry. I'm happy you like it. He's my favorite kind of voice. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Here. <laughs> this goddamn I'm sorry. No, I'm like, circus. I'm super giddy. I'm like, my, my, there's such a big smile on my face. <laughs> All right. Ready and waiting, as always, Your Honor. Very good. Then we'll get underway at once. Yesterday we heard the testimony of Mr. Victor Kudo. He claims to have witnessed the defendant putting a powder into the victim's coffee. However, the witness's testimony was plagued with a number of problems. The mark on the rim of the cup shows that the victim drank from it with his right hand. But according to the old man's testimony, he picked it up with his left hand. Thank you, Mr. Godo. Furthermore, according to the witness's account, the victim was listening to the radio with an earpiece in his left ear. Yet, the victim's left eardrum was ruptured, which made him effectively deaf in that ear. It's amazing how many contradictions a single case can have, huh, Nick? <laughs> hello! Hello! Hello, Hansel. Ah, allow me to enlighten you, Your Honor. The world, you see, keeps turning, and we must turn with it. Hold on, let me go down this way. You lost me already, Mr. Godo. Don't let the mysteries of yesterday's mystify you today. <laughs> Skelly, I want Wait. him, period. <laughs> no, no, I just want to talk about the message that was held for review that Leah deleted. <laughs> And Wait. it's just Skelly freaking out over Godo. <laughs> <laughs> Leah, tis tis tis. <laughs> Only losers think like that. You gotta change with the times. That's one of my rules. Are you implying that you've resolved these contradictions? You know the answer to these riddles. Sorry, you know the answer to these riddles? The old guy wasn't just throwing seed in here. He was throwing us off the scent. Say no keyboard mashing? Ooh, that's what it was, I see. And today, I'll prove it. Very well, let the wit let the first witness take the stand. Who is the first witness? Oh, Lord. Ew. Hey, you got someone to voice really often now. <laughs> and you I are... Oh, bonjour, everyone! Put your man titties away, buddy. I am Jean Armstrong. I 
squints. Hold on. I looked away for a second. The owner and and the chef of La Trappe Bien Restaurant. Enchanté. Wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, I love him so much. Why does much. he stick out his gat for the Rizzler like that? What is happening? I, 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 I. Why does he stick it out like that? Throwing up my ass for the Rizzler. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> I hate this. He's going to flirt with Goto, and I'm not gonna stand here and take it. Forgive me for asking, witness, but are you a woman? Oh la la, monsieur, as you can see, I am la perte in Turkey, gentlemen, no? Listen, judge, respectfully, women can have muscles too, but look at these arms. I will no. be right back. I'm washing my hands. My hands. Okay. You know when you like handle the sensation <coughs> of your arm? Maybe really. Seriously, what the hell is this clown show, dude? <laughs> Why does he stick his butt out like that? He's just like... I didn't think this through. <laughs> Did you say I didn't think this through? <laughs> Dude, oh my lord. This is so cursed. Oh my lordy. My apologies, Tiki. Hello. I love watching a PNG pop up and down for Tiki. That's really funny. I love how Tiki sounds like a car locking. Beep, beep, beep. Let's let Tiki yap or yap. Guys, if you want more bird content, you should totally check out the Mikachu streams. Thumbs Hold up. Hold on. Oh, We're gonna have them echoing each other at this point. They're just calling each other, no worries. Mm. <laughs> like, you see, see that you new could, like... Did you mm -hmm. see that new shit on Birdstagram? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, hello. Both of them are on my chair. Aww. Come on, guys. It's so cute. See your cage. Oh, is it there sleepy time? Thank you, Tiki. Thank you for your assistance. Such a good old sister. Yeah? You're a good older sister, yes? you. Oh, you're purring. You're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> 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 <coughs> 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 I died. <coughs> Your daughter says hello. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Your daughter says hello. Oh. She says squawk. I do. Alright, you ready? Yeah. Uh, um. On the day of the incident, you were in Trey Bien's kitchen. Isn't that right? With you, monsieur. Everything feels right. I know you called it. And he likes that! Oh my god, go to him. Yeah. Wow, he's totally unfazed. Doesn't anything intimidate this guy? Very you well, your on. testimony please, witness. Please tell the court what happened that day at Trebian. Oui, volontiers. Witness testimony at Trebian. I didn't think my friends would be useful for a game, but Here you when are. it all happened this year, we're just two customers in my restaurant. Oh, I remember I was experimenting with the new art deco that day. 
like having a large mirror between the tables, for example. We oui, perhaps that is what the old man was looking at. Oh, lock up that earpiece and the glasses. He would have seen everything in reverse, no? Uh, but 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 mirror? Oui, un grand miroir, la most enormous miroir. Yeah. And suddenly, the mystery disappears. Got it seriously? Like I said, the world keeps turning, so I roll with it. Hmm, that would explain the coffee cup and the earpiece conundrum. The mirror would have made everything appear back to front. What the heck? It's way too early in the morning for this to be happening to me. Now then, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. I'm a little confused about what they mean by where the mirror is. Is it the is the mirror in between like the two sets of tables or is it the partition? All right, cross examination at three p.m. Like, oh, they pull up the, the map. I'm throwing up my ass for the get for the wrestler. So, are they talking You're about so these? Spooky. Yes, because if he was sitting next to him, he would have looked at the partition and it would look flip. Please. Sitting next to him like a cross? So he's looking into the mirror and looking across the room with the mirror? He's looking at the mirror. So it, not across there, but across diagonally. So he's sitting yeah. here? No. Here? He's sitting... Like, I don't understand. From where... Okay. From where you're standing... Use me as, like, a little, like, place me on the chairs, please. Okay. Let me find your lair. Okay. Hello, guys. It's me, Kudo. From here, I'm looking at my top left. To the partition top left. Oh. So it reflects. Yes. Okay. I'm sitting comfortable. Could you put me on the witness stand? <laughs> Hey guys, it's me. I have Zigyat. Alright, you can stay there for now, sure. Yay! Alright. <sighs> <laughs> you see how dumb this is? Yeah, I love it. Uh, Alright, and who were the two customers exactly? Me, of course, the young man who died. And the other not so young. Oh, young man, sorry, this place gets okay. me really tired. Hmm, you're referring to the yesterday's witness, I presume. For me, that's Will Powers. That's the voice that gets me tired. What about the other man Maggie says she saw at the table? Something tells me Mr. Armstrong isn't planning to disclose his existence. We need some hard evidence first before we can bring him up, don't we? The matches. I guess I'll just have to try a different approach for the time being. That'll be later, though. The matches are not now. You were <laughs> experimenting with Art Deco? How come I never heard about that before today? You're not familiar with the language of interior design, monsieur? Which is actually it reminded me I needed... My mom was talking to me about something in interior design and emails, and I had to check my email. That's what I was pinged for earlier. Okay, she never got back so to me. So you it. look at... Please stay on topic. Now, why didn't you tell the court Sorry. about this before? But I did just a few moments ago. Ahem, excuse me, Mr. Armstrong. This deco you mentioned, are you referring to some sort of decorature? No, no, art deco. It's a style of design, Your Honor. He's talking about interior design. Walls, ceilings, carpets, that kind of thing. You could, you could just say decor, but whatever. Ah, yes, of course. That deco. <laughs> Sorry, I'm reading it the other <laughs> I am seeking out Le Giat for the Rizzler. <laughs> <laughs> I was That's trying amazing. to achieve a more effeminate, look, la effeminate look for my restaurant. 
He wanted to be a little bit more like a little girl inside his body. Was planning the most bold remodeling of La Decor. My ear is itchy. Mm. How big of a mirror are we talking about here? Both. Oh, wow, that's actually a French expression. Okay. Both. Something about four meters wide and a wee about two meters high. Let's see. One meter is about one yard. Holy glass in a frame. That's, that's huge. I was intending on to install it on the ceiling eventually. The ceiling? Is there a mirror on the ceiling? I don't remember. But no, but I decided not to go with with it in the end. What should I do? Should I ask him more about the mirror or not? If you really had such a large mirror in the restaurant, someone would have noticed it. But there's nothing about a mirror in Mr. Kuda or Maggie Bird's testimonies. But what? Of course, here you come. You didn't ask, Trade. You only had you have only yourself to blame for such sloppy work. This was never brought up before. What? The mirror was delivered to Trey Bien the day before the incident. But really? As Mr. Armstrong testified, he was carrying out some design changes. And as it turns out, he didn't actually use the mirror in the end. This is not up. Even if a mirror was delivered to Trey Bien, it doesn't prove that it was in the restaurant on the day of the crime. Ha! Huh. You want to doubt someone, Trey? Look in the mirror. I'm sure the person looking back at you will be dubious enough. Hmm, so the witness yesterday had seen the victim reflected in the mirror. Normally, I'd expect people to know the difference between a reflection and a real object. Normally, how does normality come to come into this? That's lame, Droid. Even for you. Huh? Are you trying to say that if something isn't normal, it isn't possible? Is that it? Where does, where does that leave the porky-headed lawyer and the top-knot chick over there? And the ungodly cool guy with the mask over there? Over here, well tried. Well, you. Ah, I don't have spiky hair. I do not have a top-knot. Mr. Goto is correct. A lack of normality is no basis for discounting an argument. Especially for this game. Music as one a day. You. Everything. You would have seen everything in reverse. I got it. Hey again. We should take a second to think about what old CD said in his testimony. Now we use the little paper. How did he phrase it How again? Did he phrase it again? Oh, sorry. It's okay. My bad. My first time. The boy was wearing the earpiece on the same side as, as the green lens of a specs. No question, you could lock me up if I'm wrong. It was in his left ear, without a doubt. Oh. And then he used the same hand to pick up the cup. His left hand. If he saw everything he just kept reflected in the mirror, the specs would have been too. Then everything he saw on the left was actually on the right, huh? That clears up all problems with his testimony. Or, I guess, or does it? Yeah. It's kind of hard to believe everything in is the fall of, the, of a mirror, but... Do you think old CD saw everything through a reflection? If he did, it would explain all the contradictions in his testimony. But that just makes the situation worse for Maggie. There's gotta be something in that old man's testimony. We just gotta dig deeper. It has nothing to do with the paper, by the way, I don't think. The paper literally is the lion. He held it in his left... Oh, no, I yeah. thought it was... I thought it was a passing of his thing. I'm thinking this paper. He was trying to read this paper. If he was seeing it through a mirror, he would see all the words in reverse. Oh, I was thinking he said the monocle was on his left side. Right? There's this too. The game hinted at this more, but that's also technically true. I'm a little sad You're it's not going the answer. For an abstract. You're going through an abstract reach, I think. This has more concrete evidence to prove, but... Yeah, let's go with the, the scope. But he said, no, but he said he saw it. He saw it on the same side he saw the piece of glass on his eye. And his piece of glass is on his left. 
Yeah. If you if that that's just on his left. You can't object that as right. I know, I know, I know, I know. That's I was just like questioning that because I was I was like getting a little like crossed up. Anyway, the coffee cup, the earpiece, and the HM in the HMD. I keep trying to put HMUD in there for some reason. Let's think. Oh, let's think back over Mr. Credo's testimony for a second, shall we? The boy was wearing the earpiece on the same side as the green lens of his specs. I love the voice I do for him. Honestly, it's really fun. No question, you can lock me up if I'm wrong. It was just left here without a doubt. So to summarize, we were told both the HMU, the HMD, and the earpiece were on the le victim's left side. Now, if Mr. Kudo saw all that as a reflection in the in a mirror. It means both the HMD and the earpiece were actually on the victim's right side. Exactly, you see, Monsieur. Now that you think about it, it is not so hard, no? Uh. Oh la la, sacré bleu. Unfortunately, that's where we run into a monumental contradiction with the facts. If Mr. Kudo really did see everything in a mirror. Why is it that the HMD is now on the wrong side of his head? Order, order. Mr. Wright is correct. If the victim genuinely observed the vic- If the witness genuinely observed the victim reflected in a mirror, then we would expect the victim's earpiece to have been over his right eye. Objection. Hi. Oh, bitter. That's right. You should have tasted this bitterness. It'll calm you down in no time. Uh, are we talking about your coffee or something completely different? You don't understand the way the witness thinks. How he thinks? You remember this, I presume. The I broke the vase, sorry, apology let- I mean, Mr. Kudo's sworn testimony? Exactly. The old man has one very grievous habit, other than throwing seeds. The more of an impression something makes, the more muddled his mind makes it. And what's the most striking thing about Mr. Elg? Clearly, it's the victim's eyepiece. Oh my God. And that's my point. The old man strikes again. Mr. Elg's HMD made a big impression on the old man. What, 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 what? Oh. <laughs> I saw the earpiece in those newfangled spectacles he was wearing. Oh, yes, they were both on his left ear. Do you hear? His left ear. Ha. Huh. Well, trade. Ugh. That's the worst, but best impression of Kudo ever. Wow, I really thought he was old Cindy for a minute. <coughs> Kudo's good. Enough. I must agree that yesterday's witness was irresponsibly rash in much of his testimony. Bad luck, Nick. Looks like the boil of a contradiction just found it in as a rash. What? The boil you found in this contradiction was just, Do you know what a boil is? Oh, yeah. Yeah. A mirror can't be beaten by a handful of seeds, nor can it lie. So, what exactly was the old man looking at? Fill us in, Mr. Armstrong. Go on, tell the court. We're all ears. Me, I can explain. Please, if you look at the plan of the restaurant. Witness testimony. The mirror. Oh, so cutey patootie, guys. Alors, is everyone sitting comfortably? La miroir, it was in the middle of the restaurant, dividing the two halves. So I was yeah. right. He did sit there. He was peeking over the partition from the right. Or but I guess in this case now he's looking at the mirror. So I guess we just have to accept the mirror was there. Whatever. There is the only seat from which you had seen an image of La Victim. That will only see <sighs> Yeah then. Hmm, that was the seat where the table next to the victims. That was where the old man was sitting. See, I'm smart. After a terrible accident occurred, I moved the mirror, so it was not in the way. But naturally, I did not touch anything else. 
<laughs> hmm, I see no problems with the explanation we have just heard. At the table next to the victims, Mr. Kudo could have seen the vic victim in the mirror. But the naughty little coquette I am, we're confusing all the men like these. Don't worry about it. We can keep up. Except for the guy breaking out in a cold sweat over there again. Ah, <sighs> hate that guy. I love him. I'll take him off your hands gladly anyway. You say you didn't touch anything else apart from the mirror. Are you quite sure about that? Volontier, of course. Very well, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination, if you please. I have a feeling it's the medicine bottle, but we'll press just in case. Cross examination, the mirror. I'll let you do the thinking, because I don't feel like thinking. It's alright. I love it when you use your brain. Your brain is so pretty. I love all your thoughts. So, run this by me again. <laughs> I heard what you said. The mirror was here, correct? Oui. Oh, we? Oh, we? Really? Because I know if I were you, I wouldn't have put a mirror there. It would be in the way. Objection. Look who's talking, Trey. Huh? You're obstructing my view, among other things. But, 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 this is my seat in the courtroom. Trey Bien's charm is that he gives you the impression that you're the only customer. Temporarily placing a mirror in, a, in that spot would hardly be in the way. Unlike you, Trey. It's time to see all the mirror was there in the middle of the rest. Trust. And where would that be? Oh la la, look how you lean towards me. <laughs> I always attract the younger boys, so maybe I should keep you in a suspense a little, a little longer. Mr. Armstrong, tell the court what you know at once. I attract the older ones too, you know, handsome. Shall I tease you too? Nah. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. I'm already seeing a very hot someone, so I'm afraid you'll be waiting for a long time. Yo, you got a, you got a, you got a little someone? It's coffee. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet she has a mocha cream skin and a cappuccino perfume. Man, I will tell you, there uh, was the only seat which you could have seen. The so, why can you only see the victim from that particular seat? Mais monsieur, it is obvious. No, if you look at the plans, you would understand. Unfortunately for you, you are a dumbass. The victim would have been reflected in the mirror like so. If you were sitting at the table next to him, you would have seen everything. No. So that's the old... So that's the seat, old seat he was sitting in on that day. Maybe we gotta prove that isn't where he was sitting. Maybe. When the poisoning happened. The old man was sitting at the table next to the victim? Why does it seem kind of odd? Oh, because he was reading the newspaper. Hmm. Um... Did you move the mirror while Mr. Kudo was off calling the police? We. Oui. Exactly. I carry it and I carry it on the restaurant then. You moved a huge mirror like that all by yourself? <laughs> what can I say? I know how to pick things up, handsome. Oh god, his riz is too good. <laughs> Goto actually laughed at something. Well, given the witness's physique, I suppose it is possible. Did you move anything else from the crime scene, Mr. Armstrong? I look like the obli... Obli... Ob obliging? Yes. Obliging type, no? <laughs> Are you sure about that? I touch nothing except la miroir. Mr. Wright, is there something in the witness has said that doesn't match the crime scene? Yeah, there is. I just can't put my finger on one exactly. Yeah. But he did. Suffering from a case of hardboard trade. 
Oh, I have just the thing for that. An oil with my golden milk and Frankensteins. Add a few drops to your coffee and voila. Enjoy. Focus, Phoenix. Breathe. I need to ignore those two and just find some evidence. Um... I know. Sorry. I know too, don't worry. It's the... I mean, maybe... It's just because the dialogue was so on point there. It's <laughs> very obvious what it is. <laughs> You're so pretty today. Read the it's dialogue, though, lady. You can flirt laughter. <laughs> laughter? Shut up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, nobody mentioned anything about a large mirror. You'd think someone would have, but Maggie didn't, or neither did old CD. And the only logical explanation is there was no mirror inside Trey Bien that day. I've just got to prove it somehow. It's so annoying because the game feels like it's leading me in two different directions. It's like prove there's no mirror or prove that he took something. Because my brain is like, there's only three people in the restaurant, right? There's mm -hmm. only three people in the restaurant. The body, passed out Maggie, and mm -hmm. Armstrong, right? Yeah. So if the bottles move, the only person who could have moved it is Armstrong or a another party that was not mentioned prior. Which means it's very damning evidence. But I feel like it's egging me on to try and solve the mirror thing, which... <sighs> hmm. It's okay, Mr. Phoenix, right? I love eggs. Sorry, you said something about egging you on. I don't know what egging you on means. Does that mean you're an egg to egg someone? Egging you on is like pushing them. Or like teasing them, I guess. Uh, uh, yeah. Poking you towards a direction, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, I. Like, ooh, I, ooh, you see this? Objection. Objection denied. Objection. Okay, so I do need to prove. <sighs> That's who was the table next to the. Pulling at my yacht for the. Oh, this is so confusing. So he broke the vase at his seat. But the vase isn't broken. That's not really something I can work with right now. <laughs> Why do we still have this? Okay, it's not the bottle. Did you forget to give it to Maggie earlier? There was no chance to give it to Maggie. Mm. <sighs> the only two things that make sense in this context, I feel like, are maybe the cup, maybe the crime scene photo. Wait, no. A crime scene photo doesn't even prove anything. Maybe the floor plans? I mean, it's not in the floor plans. That's, that's a little bit like... I don't know. It's, it's, it's like the thing where, like, we had to see the floor plan the, like during the bonus case where, like, the fingerprint wasn't... The, something here isn't where it's supposed to be in the floor plans of the evidence we is the blue badger, wada, 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 wada. Maybe it's something like that. I, that's why I'm, like, considering it to be an option. It's not the medicine bottle. It's either the cup, maybe? Mm, I don't think it's the prescription bag. Maybe the crime photo, maybe the floor plans. Possibly paper. I don't think anything else is possible here. Uh, 
Oh. Wait. Pookie, he said his vase broke on his table. If he was sitting there, it would be... Like, wouldn't it be in the fucking photograph? I know, I, I pointed that out, but the question is, where do I present that? Uh. That's what I'm thinking. Because that's not really connected with what he's saying. Probably where he said, like, oh, this is where the he was sitting. Like, oh, the table next to the victims. Next to the victim. I feel like that's a smart one. That one, yeah. Objection! Yeah! That I check. love this nice. objection! That Your was Honor. you. <laughs> Sorry, what happened? That was you, Pookie. I was just helping you with the statement. Nah, you, you got that one. You ate that. I'm letting you take the show. I'm just here sitting and being a pretty little French man, lady. Your Honor, Mr. Kudo's words yesterday strongly contradict Mr. Armstrong's testimony. This is the letter of apology that was written by Mr. Kudo, is it not? I realize it looks useless, Your Honor, but this is still testimony. Ugh. I guess useless people are really only good at identifying useless things. What yeah. relevance does this scrub of paper have to do with the trial, Mr. Wright? Mr. Kudo's testimony is actually very relevant to the question at hand, Your Honor. Because it very clearly contradicts with this piece of evidence. Which would be the... This. Crime photo. Yes. This piece of evidence contradicts with the testimony we have heard, Your Honor. The crime photo? Yes. Sorry, I have to cover you. No, I'll get rid myself up here. <laughs> yes. Okay. This... No, I'll give myself here. Yes, no. this photo clearly shows something that theoretically should not exist. What enough do you mean by that, Mr. Wright? Should not exist. Ha. Huh. Sounds like you're describing yourself, Trade. Shut up, Goto. Now then, if the defense would please clarify its statement. You should cover me, cover me, cover me. Okay. Yui! I didn't get to read what the judge said. Oh. There's one thing that was clearly demonstrated by yesterday's testimony. Also, when you were gone at some point, I was like, <laughs> alright guys. Because <laughs> I was like stomping <laughs> on so you. so mean. <laughs> and, then I was, and then you like, uh, something happened and I stopped. There's one thing that was clearly demonstrated by yesterday's testimony. Mr. Kudo broke the vase that was on the table where he was sitting. And yet, as the court can see, there is an unbroken vase on the table next to the victim. Why? Because Mr. Kudo was not, in fact, sitting at the table next to the victim at all. Objection. Don't be an idiot, right? That's impossible. That seat's only the only one Kudo could have seen the victim's reflection from. Exactly. There's only one conclusion that we can draw from this contradiction. There was no mirror in Trebian that day. Your testimony, Mr. Armstrong, is an elaborate lie. Mon dieu! I'm sticking out my guts with the little. Sorry. <laughs> Don't try to confuse up. the court, right? Obviously, the witness cleaned up the vase. While the police were, get were taking the time getting to the crime scene. Unfortunately, Mr. Goto, that doesn't quite work for me. Mr. Armstrong already testified to the contrary. In his own words, I did not touch anything else except the mirror. Yeah. No. Oh, he has a ring. So well, witness, what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> I was right. There was no mirror in the restaurant that day. In light of this revelation, we returned back to the original problem. Why did the victim have an earpiece in, in an ear in which he could not hear? Yeah. You only get one shot in life. There's no turning back. If you want to claim that mirror wasn't there, Trite, then this, then this problem is all yours. How do you explain what the old man saw? If I can answer this, then I'll be that much closer to the truth. I can feel it. Are you going to be okay? Can you really solve this contradiction then? There's more than just this one contradiction, Maya. What do you mean? Remember what Maggie told us? There was another man at the victim's table. And there was a sample CD on the victim's table. It all, fi it all flies in the face of Mr. Kudo's testimony. And I think I know the reason. Why nothing in this case is adding up. 
Well, Mr. Wright, let's hear your answer. Yes, Your Honor. The reason behind all the contradictions in Mr. Kuda's testimony is simple. I feel like this is the only answer I can make. This is wrong. This is... Okay, because if... There's two phonies? What is it called? I'm operating... That would make sense, actually. Yeah. I see him. That's probably that one. I'm thinking Blaming the victim would fuck you up. Blaming a doctor, a professional, would fuck you up. You mean the, the, so the, the witness, no? The witness, yeah. Yeah, okay. So blaming the victim makes more sense. What is he going to do? Come back from the dead? So, Not with Maya around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my... What is it called? My 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 reason. I, I, I'm already going to pick it, whatever. My The way this is going to turn out is... What is it called? Mr. Armstrong is in cahoots. Yes? The only other witness is... um, What is it called? Kudo. And Kudo. Oh, I'm trying to figure out how this lines up. If the victim was a phony, how does that work? Maybe the victim was already dead and the person wearing the earpiece was actually Zin Eop. It, yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It's possible. Because he looks like Phoenix right but with a beanie on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that'd be really funny if it all comes back to the fact that they all have the same face shape. I swear. This case is riddled with contradictions. Yet, there's one very simple answer that clears them all up. And what is that? The incident Mr. Kudo witnessed and the incident the victim experienced were two completely different events. Yeah, I'm thinking that they're spaced differently. Kudo was not in the restaurant when he died. What? Yes, the victim that Mr. Kudo saw wasn't Mr. Gl Glenn Elg at all. It was an imposter, a phony pretending to be Mr. Elg. Oh, so there was two appearances. Obviously, unlike the victim, there was nothing wrong with the imposter's left eardrum. I'm thinking back to Maggie saying there was a woman in the restaurant. Yeah, okay, okay. Maybe what happened wasn't that this all happened in one second, but maybe Maggie was only there when the imposter was there. That's what I was saying but earlier about her taking that, the order. Yeah, so prior to that, the guy... Uh, I don't know. It's okay. We'll let the game ball. That's how Killing he myself. ended up wearing the earpiece in his left ear by mistake. Please, please, please play his theme. <laughs> <laughs> I love how that, that's so satisfying. <laughs> order, order in the court. Not knowing how he's gonna react. Settle down, or I'll clear the courtroom. Cause it's like it's the the tension that raises when he drinks the coffee. He's either gonna pop off or he's gonna spit it out. Ah, oh, so exactly. Good. I love him. Quiet, Gramps. Why don't you clear out of here, huh? What did you? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> Troy, are you saying that Mr. Kudo saw was a setup? Yes. Someone pretended to be Glenn Elg and acted out the whole coffee poisoning. For, all for the express purpose of creating a witness out of one Mr. Victor Kudo. Objection. Get real, Troy. Why would anyone want to do that? Isn't it obvious? obvious. Yeah. The thing Mr. Kudo was most insistent about in his testimony was... The serving girl brought him a cappuccino, but she put something in it. That's the serving girl right there in the defendant's chair. I remember her well. Uh, it's so hard to believe, but... There was one, and only one reason to show Mr. Kudo this fake poisoning. To show Maggie Bird in the act of poisoning the coffee. Objection. Are you insinuating that the witness and the waitress in the old man's story was a fake as well? That I was, we were able to conclude. Yeah, it's true that there were no other customers in the restaurant at the time, but... It's also true that the chef was there. He would have noticed what was happening. But that's right. Well, witness, if your restaurant was really was the scene of such theatrics, you would have known about it, correct? Oh la la, this is the most difficult for me. No, it's quite simple. All you have to do is testify. You are under oath, after all. Was there, in fact, a phony at 3 p.m. that day? 
The defense demands that Mr. Armstrong tell the whole truth about what happened. The defense's request for additional testimony is accepted. You will accurately explain in detail the events of, in the restaurant that day. Oh, we. Oui. <laughs> Witness testimony in the restaurant. You remind me of April May. Like, clearly, can only get you so far. <laughs> True. Monsieur Erg, he came to my restaurant alone. He's Twink May. <laughs> I remember that old man arrived not long after him. There were no other customers. When he got the word, he won the lottery more. Oh, Monsieur uh, became very ex became very excited. Maybe he didn't win the lottery. Maybe he did lose, and the lottery ticket that was found inside her pocket was the losing ticket. It was no, it's a, it's fuzzy. sorry. Because no one stole it. No one knows what happened to it. But the ticket's right here. A winning ticket oh, yeah. for half a million dollars. Guys, very, I'm it's a, there's three pages of evidence. I do not blame you. Oh, uh, right. It was approximately five minutes later that the poisoning incident occurred. He went papou. <laughs> no, <there's... laughs> no, there was no time for Phony to do the acting. If you're acting, you wouldn't have known that. Just so we're clear, there was no mirror in the restaurant after all. Je vous demande pardon, forgive me, your honor. I lied because I wanted this mess to be cleared up quickly. I know for other, for no other particular reason. What you have just com what you have just done is commit perjury, Mr. Armstrong. I will decide how to punish you later. I'm becoming a little Ooh, bit French. Oui. That's all right. You can be French with me anytime, Monsieur. For now, we will hear your cross examination. No, sorry. Anyway, for now, we will hear your cross examination, Mr. Wright, if you please. Hmm. Took that perjury charge a bit too well. I'm guessing he'll be in a more serious trouble after this cross examination. I just want to say, if he ever has a breakdown, I'm gonna make him sound the most American possible. <laughs> Pretty funny. <laughs> that victim is here. Was he alone at his table as well? No, we. I saw him in from the kick. From the kick. The kitchen. Yet, the defendant, Miss Bird, remembers it di differently. She swears there was another man at the victim's table. Uh, unfortunately for you, Mr. Trade, yesterday's witness also testified that the victim was alone. You know, seeing you squirm like that reminds me of a certain coffee's bittersweet bite. What kind of coffee has he been drinking? It's not coffee, it's love. It's love that's bittersweet. You might say that... Makes her seem wise all of a sudden. Honestly, agree. Wait, so Goto has a love for you? Hello, Goto! Hello, Monsieur! Hello! My old man, you mean Victor Kudo, correct? Oui, he comes often for my special coffee. I drank your coffee once, Mr. Armstrong. It's special, I'll give you that. It's worth a sip just for the experience. <laughs> That's so <laughs> backhanded. <laughs> Oh, you make me so happy, monsieur. You're most welcome any time. I said it was worth one sip, nothing more. So, old Mr. Kudo arrived at the restaurant at the same time as the victim. Maybe I should ask about his arrival in more detail. Out of curiosity, about what time was it when Mr. Kudo arrived? Oh no, I cannot remember, monsieur. <sighs> hmm, I believe we were told by a witness yesterday. The crime was reported at 2.25 p.m. by a kind of scary old man, sir. Does that perhaps jog your memory, witness? The incident happened about 20 minutes after he arrived. That plays it too early. Sorry. 
So the victim must have arrived between 2 p.m. and 10 to 10 p.m. No. Wait, if he's a French. Quatorze, fourteen o'clock, and fourteen ten. Just after two, huh? Thank you for your help in jogging my memory, Monsieur. You are wonderful. Ha ha ha! I can't sit here all the time and do nothing now, can I? The time of day will be added to the witness's testimony. We oui, miss your judge. I really, I do, I do it for you, Pookie. Merci bien. That's French, isn't it? Ha ha ha. I'm glad at least one person isn't good, isn't a good mood. He's even humming a song to himself. <laughs> Doing a judge. Ba da ba da ba ba da ba da da da. -da. <laughs> This is completely wrong. And I'm already just dropped this now. I do not care. Monday at 1.30. I'm afraid I finally got you, Mr. Armstrong. What do you mean? At the time in question, the victim was listening to the radio with his earpiece. The show he was listening to was Millionaire Radio. Each week, they announce the winning numbers of the half million dollar lottery ticket. We, oui, that must be the show Monsieur L was listening to. I can't see any problem with this testimony, Mr. Wright. I wonder. Oh. Hmm? You say the victim arrived at the, your restaurant after 2 p.m., correct? I feel this is the first time this theme has started playing when Phoenix has the upper hand, which I think is really cool. Oui, oui, I'm sure of it. I remember it perfectly now. I'm a perfect man. I know it was that time because I had just finished serving the lunch menu. You should come try the 20 set. Get to the point, Trey. If you have one. That show is broadcast live at 1.30 p.m. And it claims to be the most thrilling 10 minutes of your life. It's on the air at 1.30. Now, supposedly, the victim made some noise when he, it was announced that he had won. And yet, I don't believe his cry of joy could have occurred after 2 p.m. Because the show had already finished more than 30 minutes earlier by that point in time. I love this theme. No! The victim we've been told about has done nothing but the impossible. Please. Listening to the radio with a ruptured eardrum. Catching a show that was already over. There's only one conclusion you could draw from these facts. This victim was an imposter, acting out the poisoning 30 minutes after the real murder. Yes, there were two Glen Elks in Trey Bien that day. The real Glen Elk, now dead, having, having been poisoned by the real killer. And the phony Gre Glen Elk acting out the events for Mr. Kudo to witness. It certainly seems that way. I mean, if that wasn't the case, how could you explain the time discrepancy? Quite a performance trade. You were almost on a roll. But sadly, you lack the rock hard foundation of rhythm to build your song. Evidence? What is this? Music Theory 101? Let's recap. According to your imaginative theory, it's now just after 2 p.m. The phony elk is performing a play for the benefit of Mr. Kudo. How do you explain then where the real Glen Elg is? I don't believe I have to spell this out for the court. However, at the time, Mr. The real Glenn Elg was already dead. That's certainly the obvious conclusion. Mika, were you going to say something? No. Okay. Thank you, Trade. That's exactly what I was hoping you'd say. But what? Now, I presume you can prove this, the this theory of yours? Can you explain where the missing corpse went to? But the missing corpse? According to the old man's testimony, there was only one other customer in there. If that customer was the phony Glen Elk, then where did the killer hide the body of the real victim? Ah! The prosecution has a valid point, Mr. Wright. If your theory is to stand up to examination by the court, you must provide us with proof by answering the prosecution's question. Where did the killer hide the body? Yes, Your Honor. No conjecture, Wright. Let's hear some facts for once. Show the court a piece of evidence that proves where the body was hidden. A body? 
something has been discovered. The evidence? What's with the intense pressure here all of a sudden? I thought I had him with, the con with that contradiction. But he's turned it all around and back it backed me into a corner instead. Well, Mr. That. Wright, the court will now hear the defense's theory and evidence. First, where was the body of the real Mr. E Mr. L concealed? Oh, so general. All right. In the fucking vitamin part. How? Because I said so. <laughs> okay. Why is Mass shing the mask on this thing? <laughs> it, it's probably like inside the thing. But where? I, we need to think all the way ahead. We need, to, we need to have a story. Well, in the kitchen, right? The kitchen's the only place inside, yes. So we have to think about where in the kitchen could he have been hidden. Well, look at all our shit. That's what I'm trying to do. It has to do... It has to do with this medicine bottle in some way. I mean, yeah. I feel like outs it's... I think we have more evidence for outside. I think it's inside. It makes no sense for it to be outside. Because the real guy... The reason why we know it's inside is because the medicine bottle was inside the kitchen. That's how we know it was in the kitchen. He had his shit with him. Okay. So they just put the bag back, and like that's why they didn't find the medicine because they just returned the bag to where it originally was during the murder. Yeah. Okay. At least that's what I'm thinking. No, 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 because that makes sense. What I'm thinking, my 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 brain, because the one thing is like the body has to be returned back at by the time the cops are there. So I feel like it makes sense. It's just it's the easiest thing to do is hide in the kitchen. It'd have to be too dangerous to take the body outside. Or sorry, it'd be too. It would have been too dangerous to take the body outside. I mean, no, that's the other obvious thing. <laughs> Obviously, the, bo the body must have been hidden somewhere inside 3 p.m. Hmm, interesting. Sorry. <laughs> but where could a body have been hidden inside a restaurant? Perhaps you would care to show the court on these four pans, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. The exact location where the body was concealed inside 3 p.m. is. Le kitchen. La cache registreur. <laughs> <laughs> La cache register. <laughs> the body was hidden here. Hmm, I see. Nice, nice supposition. But the real question is, can you back it up? Where is the evidence that proves the body was hidden in that location? <sighs> I was right! Mr. Armstrong. Do you recognize this bottle? No, 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 no. I have never seen that ugly bottle in my life. Please don't hurt me. I only use leathery best bottles, monsieur. The highest quality only for me and so me and me case. only. Where was that bottle found, Mr. Wright? Interestingly enough, Your Honor, it was found in the kitchen of Trebien. Eh? Quoi? But I only ever use these bottles for my aromatherapy oils. But this bottle doesn't contain aromatherapy oil, Mr. Armstrong. No, it contains a medication. What kind of medication? I'm sure everyone remembers, don't they? That Mr. Elk visited an or- A clinic and was given medication that day. Oru Arn You can't be serious. Don't try. The defense had the <laughs> contents of the bottle anal uh, analyzed. Analyzed, analyzed and now have the lab results here. The contents of the bottle matched the prescription that was given to Mr. Elg. Puh. Ben Elg's murderer hit the body in the restaurant kitchen, at which time this bottle fell out of the victim's pocket. Mr. Armstrong, when the incident occurred, did you say you were in the kitchen? Mon dieu. Yes, you know what I'm about to say. It was you who hit the victim's body. You did a fine job pretending to defend my client, Maggie Bird, however. Oh, sorry, Maggie Bird. However, <laughs> you were setting her up to take the fall behind the poor girl's back. No. 
Order, order. This is an extraordinary development. Witness, did you... Did you murder Mr. Glenn Elk? Never. I could, do such a, I could not do such a horrible thing. No! no! Oh, that's Goto. No! But Mr. He's Goto... So fine. The bitterness. Every time I get lied to, I always down a mug of coffee. That's one of my rules. Do you have the slightest idea how many cups you've had by now? Then I'd like to do the same to the person who lied to me. I'd like to take them down with, an, with my empty cup. Listen up, chef. How about a brand new flavor in your ear? My H deficient friend. <laughs> <laughs> you just got it? <laughs> <laughs> it took a second. Je vous demande pardon. Please, you must hear me out. It is a trap. Listen to me. Por favor, por favor. It's not French, dumb fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yo hablo espanol, Mr. Armstrong, and por favor is Spanish. <laughs> this game, dude. I'm only going to ask you once. Did you do it? I thought Guru was about to speak Spanish. I was going to be like, I'm so down, man. No, no, absolutely no. Please. I simply, I, uh, uh. Let's hear it. You've got one shot, right, Gramps? Witness, the court will now per will permit you the chance to make one final statement. Please, no more cross-examinations. If you lie under oath again, Mr. Goto's coffee mug awaits you. As does my gavel. We, oui, it is clear. <laughs> what do they always say in the movie? In the movies? I've got a bad feeling about this. Very well, begin your final testimony, Mr. Armstrong. Witness testimony. The confession. It is true. I eat la motte in the kitchen. A <laughs> man forced me to do it. I had no choice. I had to go alone with him. I, I, because uh, there was a reason why I could not refuse. But I did not kill him. I swear it. You must believe him. Me. Not him. Me. Please believe me. You were forced? By who? I, I cannot say or I will be erased. Let's try a different question, then. When Mr. Elk died, was he really the only person at his table? There was... There was another man. I knew it. Maggie was telling the truth. Man, it's weird talking in English. You may cross-examine the witness now, Mr. Wright. What happened? It's weird talking in English without an accent. <laughs> There's just one more thing I need to do. I gotta break this guy. And get him to tell us the name of the real killer. Xin Eop. Examination, the confession. Am I supposed to need to do it? Da, 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 da. What man? Who was he? No, no, I cannot say. I fear for my life. You are crazy, Mr. Light. He's really scared. You always have to put the words in his mouth, Nick. Do I present the person? Yeah, you're right. If you won't tell me, I'll tell him. But why would you go along with this man? Shut up, Jen. And what reason would that be, Mr. Armstrong? You know, monsieur. Yes. Surely you cannot expect a young maiden to talk about an embarrassing thing. Uh, uh, maiden? Cool. You're a bit old to get away with that. And a bit too male. Hey, Maya. Let him rock. Middly rock? I can't finish the cross-examination without establishing his reason. So I'll just have to prove it. With evidence. Alright, so I'm assuming I just kind of present his debt. <laughs> That feels like the easiest thing to do, no? Maybe, yeah. Objection! Yeah. <laughs> this game makes me so nervous to press the X button. You have a ma I half a million it. dollar debt, don't you? So half a million dollars? Is this true, Mr. Armstrong? Oui, je suis désolé. I was weak and I was sad. Pour de la money. <laughs> money. Say it like that. <laughs> this is Mr. Armstrong's Achilles heel. And that's why you couldn't refuse anything asked of you by this man. Take 
half a million dollar loan from a black market loan shark. And you had no way of paying it back, did you? That's why you were forced to do anything. This man told you. We it is a you say. This old theme again. Mr. Armstrong. Let's see, Tiger. He told me he was going to use my restaurant for a business rendezvous. On the day in question, he was meeting the victim to demand that he repay his loan. I don't know why it happened like that. I just did what he told me to. I had no choice. I carried the body and the inconscient Maggie out of the dining area. And into the kitchen. After that, I just tried to forget what I had seen. Oh! You can now safely say that the man who forced her hand was Furio Tigre. Hmm, I do have one further question for you, Mr. Armstrong. The poison and the lottery ticket were found in the defendant's apron pocket. Is that your doing as well? No, I knew nothing about that. Making it look like it was Maggie who done it, I, I was not. I, it is this... Oh, it's despicable, but in French, that's not, okay. Despicable. Mr. Godo. You will summon this Furio Tigre as a witness. I doubt that he can- I doubt that- That can be arranged today, so f we will adjourn for now. Proceedings will continue tomorrow. Oh, there's no way. 30 minutes. But what? The trial will go on. I'll see you to it myself. I need half an hour to get that guy on the stand. Not a minute more. How the- don't sit back and relax yet, Trey. No one knows if that chef is really telling the truth or not. This trial could still go either way. Very well. Your request is granted, Mr. Godo. We will resume once Mr. Tigre is ready to take the stand. Until then, court is adjourned for a 30 minute recess. To be continued. <laughs> and that is going to be it for today's stream. Almost, dear monsieur, not like this. I haven't talked about the wig yet, yet, no. If you guys did enjoy today's stream, drop a like oh. down below. This was so much fun. <laughs> You're so much fun. You're you so, so much fun. Much oh my god, god. you're so, so, so much more enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> he put the maid outfit back on. Hell yeah. Anyway, make it last words, please. <laughs> I love Ace Attorney. I love you. I love this game. I love everything. This shit's awesome. I'm after this. I'm gonna play even more Ace Attorney. <laughs> Maybe or Splatoon or Zero Escape. Please play Zero Escape. I highly recommend you do. If she you guys have the Xbox Game point. Pass, Ace Attorney, the Ace Attorney trilogy is on Xbox Game Pass. So go get that. Um. Uh, I don't have any final words besides thank you for having me. I really like playing Ace Attorney with you. You're and it fuels my addiction. I love your Godo voice, and you're so nice to be around. <laughs> I love you. Oh my god, no! Did you stop? No, I can't! Um, wait, wait, wait. Zigat. Zigat. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Zeking, sneaking a Zigat for the Rizzler. <laughs> for the Rizzler? Oh my god. <laughs> Um, I will be live again tomorrow with Sky Strainer for some Splatty Fest 1.30 EST-ish. Um, Mika will be live again on Monday if you guys want to catch one of the art streams where she just kind of draws. Oh, uh, for me, I don't stream like on weekends. I, I mean, if you want to stream tomorrow and, and Sunday, be my guest. Um, I'll see. You'll see. Anyway, um, I I'm done yapping. Twitter and Discord down in the description along with Mika's Twitter. Please do, do me the favor. Follow her on Twitter. Follow her sketch account too, because you know, finger stuff. Um, an artist's sketch is another regular person's treasure. Um, <laughs> Thank you. I, I'm done talking. 
Have a great rest of your night slash midnight slash go to bed, Leah. Um, bye bye. Slash. <laughs> bye, pookies. Bye, bye, Je t'aime, my pookies. Oh, my God. Bye bye. My God. Ziggyat. Ziggyat was serious, Leah. Ziggyat.